Okay. Let's see. The seconds are going. It's reconnected on Twitch's end. And you guys are saying we're back? Okay. Yeah, um, I could not tell you here or there what just happened. Supper time for the Oran- Orion. Oh, Orion, would you tell me, uh, what- what name do you go by again? Seika? Suika? I forget what it was. I'm gonna have to memorize it. But yes, we're back. Um, I could not tell you neither here nor there, um, what happened, why I disconnected. So, we'll leave that mystery to another day. Yes, classic VTuber problems. Yes. Orion or Ori is fine. Okay, that sounds good. Um, yeah, maybe the Genshin gods are just mad at us for talking about totally not the bad guy Paimon. Aren't you allergic to cats? Yup, <laughs> I can always sing on their roof. Oh no, that's right. Venti's allergic to cats and he volunteered to perform at a bar that has cats. She told me that as long as their sales surpass their competitor, there's a whole month's worth of wine in it for me. <laughs> oh, what a fine employment opportunity. Virtually tailor-made for me. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, that's a good theory, Nobby Roof. Mm. So have fun. <laughs> and don't worry about me. <laughs> oh, I feel like this summer is going to be a very interesting one. And so you say, Venti. And so you say. I need to learn to handle my fuse better. Okay, so now we have to wait till the next day and meet everyone at Hello Six Finger Jose. And meet the people at the gate. Yep, Venti has an alcohol problem, but considering that he's an immortal god, um, I think he's fine. Boop, boop. 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 What time is it now? Oh no, wrong. Oh yeah. We're gonna go for like right before. Because I feel like it. Alright. I'm just a wee lad jumping about. Yes, yes, yes. Don't mind me. Oh no, are you talking about D look again? Stop it. I hate you. Better see Barbara at the cathedral if you're injured. I just injured your employee. <laughs> so <laughs> there we go. There's the trigger. Oh! They just like... It was literally like I turned and then I turned around and they were there. That's funny. I love that. Today is the day of one's reckoning with fate as foretold by the night sky. Humiliation suffered in the past, the shame we have carried all these years. One bids you adieu, for today it is time for retribution. Oz translate. Mm, Fräulein, if I may be so bold, that final phrase did not sound like one of your own. <laughs> of course it wasn't. I just overheard it from someone in the city. Oh my god. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, thy princessin is merely drawing on the wisest and courageous sayings she has heard in the land to signify the importance of this day. Oh my god. Hmm, let me see. Huh. Wait, retribution. It really is Wait. someone else's catchphrase. Retribution. Retribution. Is that Zhongli? Well, you're here early. Hey, we brought our posse. Let's go. How's Kazuha's hangover? Chuni official is very great. Hi. <laughs> Agreed. 
what have you brought with you? Oh, ahem. Allow Paimon to introduce to you a fabled wandering swordsman of Inazuma and an enchanting musical talent of Liyue. Hey, I'm Shinyan from Liyue. I like rock and roll, sunny days, and good times. Don't we all? You must be the princess Paimon told us about. You sure do look the part. Uh, I hear you're from a faraway land. It's an honor to be in the company of dignitaries. And this lady over here. My family tells me that only the wisest scholars wear pointed hats like this one. Uh, guess that applies to you too. What? That's just something you're told. Okay. <laughs> it is very amusing that she has a southern accent. Like... I think at the beginning it was a little off-putting, but after the um, other event quest that she got featured in during Inazuma, I got used to it. Like, she she's totally like that best friend vibe with that accent. Very enjoyable as a character. They do need to update her kit though. Like, they need to make it so that she, like, there's an ability of hers that apparently doesn't work the way it should. And they need to fix it. <laughs> she would be used more. Oh, I like her. She can stay. Aww. Aww. Yeah, see? Everyone just likes Shinyan. She's a nice person. Shinyan, your gaze pierces the dark veil of night to arrive at the truth beyond. Oh my I God, am in no. need of one such as yourself. <laughs> Very well. You shall be one's musician laureate. Oh, my God. My, my cheeks hurt from smiling at all of this. It's so good. <laughs> it's so cringy. She's trying to say thanks. You say all the right things. Um, and the same goes for me too. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Mona, an astrologist. Oh, well, it's nice to meet you too. Mona is amazing. She can find out everything about you by divination. Kate! Kate, hello! How are you, dearie? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We were playing a little bit of Genshin today. Um, I was in the woods for a week, so I'm catching up on the most late, latest um, event quest that's going to be here for the entire patch. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so far, um, let's see. <laughs> Thank you, Asmo, for summoning, uh, performing the summoning rituals, as it were. Um, let's see. So far, we ended up going to the Adventurer's Guild. Catherine read a letter telling us to go meet up with Fischl in a courtyard. Uh, we met up with Fischl and Mona, who were telling us that they had met up with Klee, and Klee was sad that Fischl's homeland was destroyed, so Klee asked her mother- this is actually getting a lot- Klee asked her mother to provide the Golden Archipelago as a place for Fischl to try to revive her homeland, and so Mona's tagging along there. Oh, no, no, no. So, <clears throat> one thing about my lore that it is in the in the lore slides. I should probably post those somewhere. Um, there is a loophole to me being stuck in the library, right? So, because I'm a dream eater and I can go teleport to people's dreams, like I can I can go into the dream realm essentially. Um, within the library, I still am trapped in regards to being able to leave even from the dream realm, unless there is a checked out book somewhere in the world. So if, there, if you check out a book from the library, I can go there to the book. So I've come up with many, many very clever loopholes as to being able to travel different places. Hmm. All I need is for someone I know to carry around a book with them and I can go teleport to where they are. Or, um, if I'm hungry and I want fast food, there is a book that is in a bag in my car. Because I do have a car. 
so I can just teleport into my car and drive away. And if I need to get out of my car, I just carry the bag. I can't touch the book, but I can touch the bag. See, see, see? Very, very clever. I am. Hmm. Hmm. But yes, I was in the woods for a week last week in Maine on vacation with my fellow Dream Eater family of my mother, my sister, and my nephew, who I don't think he's unlocked his abilities as a Dream Eater yet, if he even is a Dream Eater, because um, it's not a guaranteed thing in the bloodline. Mm. So anyways. A princess, an astrologist, and an articulate raven retainer. In the company of giants, my humble self hardly deserves mention. No, Kazuha, you're literally- What are you talking about? You're literally the best character in this game! <laughs> Why do they make him like this? I am Kaidahara Kazuha from Inazuma. It is an honor to meet you all. What ho, Kazuha? Divulge thy epithets in thy vocation. Oh, main Fräulein would like to know where you work and what your field of expertise is. Um, I'm afraid I'm just another wanderer. This guy is an expert in the sword arts. He parries blades that none have ever parried before and strikes like lightning. Mere mortals could not hope to comprehend. Look at Paimon being a wingman. Oh, that's right. You did miss Drunken Kazuha. Drunken Kazuha was so good. <laughs> uh, I think, I think I may, um, I'm gonna go end up trying to find that on YouTube and just re-watch that part, because I love Drunk Kazuha. Drunk Kazuha is the best. He was just like, more, more Arkahar, please. And then, um, uh, when everyone was talking about going on an adventure, he was like, with his eyes closed. I can't adventure. I can't miss the adventure. <laughs> I can't do his voice justice, but I'm very cute. What? Is he really that powerful? Yes, he's literally the best character in the game, Fischl. Let me take a look. Oh. Huh? Oh. Oh my. Oh, I look at it. Look. It just brings out snapshot too. <laughs> Mine. Look at that precious face. Precious Kazuha. Gimme. He's the most. He is very humble. It, like. He is the most humble and nice character in this game. But also, like, Mahoyo decided that, like, he would be one of the most useful characters in the game in general. It's so nice. He's so lovely. Hi, Kazuha. I'm absolutely delighted to meet a great swordmaster like you. Could we ask you to be our guard while we're on the island? Oh, Mona. Mona literally looked at his astrology chart in an instant and was like, "Yes." <laughs> One hereby declares you captain of the royal guard of the Imanakreish. Oh my God. Official why. For even Lady Magistus to praise your skills, you are surely one of rare talent. Okay, Lady M Mag... Lady Magig... What? Oh, just call me Mona. Stop calling me that weird name. Oh, poor Mona. <laughs> Lady Magistus, we found out how to get to the promised land. Ah, right. The plot of the game. To get to the promised land. The a golden arc. Great oh, mage oh. gave us a big hint. Come on, everyone. Follow Paimon. Okay, let's go. Is it gonna be a blue door? It's usually a blue door. Oh my god! I already see it! It's over there! That's... That's not suspicious at all! Oh, fun fact. 
Um, if anyone has played this game long enough, they they know that Timmy has these pigeons that fly away and you walk up to them, except for this one apparently. Okay, bye. Um, but you can also try to kill the pigeons to get meat. And it's a very popular pastime with a lot of players. And somehow, even though I have refused to kill pigeons and p kill the poor Timmy's pigeons, I have somehow, because at the year anniversary of this game, they ended up coming up with statistics of like everything that you as a player has done. I have only killed one pigeon. I killed one of Timmy's pigeons somehow, and I don't even remember doing it. I don't understand. <laughs> this isn't suspicious at all. Look, everyone, here's our vehicle. We could have ridden a dragon. <laughs> Yeah, same. Somehow, I suddenly don't feel like going anymore. Poor Mona. What a, uh, unique little thing. Looks yes. kind of like Guoba, doesn't it? It does kind of look like Guoba. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait. The traveler's face! Oh no, that's a, ter that's a terrible one. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> no, no, I don't think- no, the Traveler did not design it. Um, so, um, this design of this and the bomb communicator that we were given were designed by Klee's mother, Alice. I have still yet to show you guys, Klee. I really should do that in a second. Um, but yeah, all of these designs are made by Alice, who is an unaging magician who is... We were just talking about Konosuba earlier, right? Um, Megumin? If I'm remembering my names correctly? Megumin. Imagine if she um, was actually extremely powerful and could do more than one explosion per day. Yes, Elf Mommy Alice, who we haven't actually seen yet. Yes, Megumin Explosion Girl. But imagine that, but a probably Dami Mommy energy character who is an eccentric inventor as well and just makes bombs and other nonsense things. Anyways. Guoba. Is he the magical creature at One Min Restaurant? Now that you mention it... It does look quite similar. That's a good point, too. All of these inventions could be inspired by Guoba. Guoba is a little tiny magical creature who used to be a god as well. Uh, to be honest, even Paimon isn't so sure this can take us to the island after all. I was expecting a blue door. Hmm. I see. I see. Only by meeting the lowliest of ends can we arrive at the Emanachreich born anew. What? Ho <laughs> ho, behold, the doorway cloven by thundering retribution. By such means as I once descended into this realm to bring retribution, do I now venture into the next. Come, Oz, lead the way. I will enter first. Main Fräulein need not worry. Huh? <laughs> He's in. And now he's gone! Why, this truly is the path of retribution that leads to the promised land. Excuse uh, maybe I should me. just do a quick reading for safety. Please. Lady Magistus, it's fine! This is Alice's creation. It's totally safe. No. Spare 
spare yourself the trouble. Just come with us. All right, I completely forgot. <sighs> All right. Into the, um, uh, statue we go. Everyone exchanges glances before they into the dodo fortress. Yes. Dark in here. Um, can someone turn on a light? Ugh. Hey, quit pushing! Come on now, let's all try and stick. Ow! Fischl, you're treading on my hair! I thought it was a snake! Uh, uh, we're flying! Everyone, be careful. If Kazaha wasn't here, they wouldn't there wouldn't be one calm person in this party besides Traveler. screen there. <laughs> we finally landed. What was that all about? Hey, we're back in the in the th in a the golden archipelago. Place. The wind is soft and the ocean is calm. And a pleasant scent blows on the breeze. Oh, there's the gramophone. I wonder if it has a message in it again, like last year. Yep. Paimon's feeling way better already now that we can see the ocean. <gasps> An ocean of life and a land filled with flora. Main Fräulein, we have finally arrived at the promised land, whence we shall revive the Imanakreish. Uh-huh. You still haven't said anything about how that how we're going to do that. Oh, faithful retainers, this is the blessed paradise that one has been searching for. Here is where we shall witness the culmination of all things. Please explain. I, who command the darkness, shall lead you to yonder gate of dreams. What? <clears throat> shall lead you to yonder gate of dreams. What? <sighs> Your Archmage Magistus thanks you for your kindness, your highness. In this moment, oh I God. offer my blessings to the Eminal Crush. <laughs> Marna, what are you, uh, oh, don't ask, just follow my lead. Oh, oh, right. <clears throat> Praise be to the Princessin, who has led us here to this sacred place. My sincere gratitude to you for inviting me to join you on this trip. Your Highness. Your happiness gladdens one's heart. Oh, how it delights me to bring us all together here at this most monumentally fateful of moments. Now, as I take my first step on this pilgrimage, I shall perceive this ocean of life with my own earthly vessel. After all, Crap. this is oh, where my away. soul belongs. On the what? contrary, Lady Magistus, blessed as you are with the great power of Hydro, one yet finds too many impurities in thy soul. Mm -mm -mm. Eh? What? Name Fräulein means Lady Magistus is perhaps not the most talented swimmer. Oh, official? That's enough. I'm happy enough to join in with the play acting Wait, without Wait, I just realized her outfit but is not the... How Hold dare on. you ridicule what? my genius? Think you can swim better than me? Ha! I'll bring you to your knees, young lady. Are they gonna have a swimming contest? Why? Oh my, main Fräulein. Steal yourself, main Fräulein. Oh yeah! Swimming race, swimming race! Whoever comes in last is a rotten egg! Paimon, don't encourage this. My character is just over this. Challenge accepted! Heed my words, lowly Lady Magistus! You shall pay for your foolishness for as long as you live! Oh, man. Ridiculous. I've never lost a single swimming race in my life. Bring it on. First one to run to the beach wins. Oh, and who may those be, Asmo? Are they serious running? I thought they were gonna swim. Never mind. Looks like they're enjoying this. I take it you have no present plans. I want to start by surveying the area first. Want to come along? Yes, I will go anywhere with you. 
official and Urienger Ur- Ur- from Final Fantasy fourteen. Is he the guy that he's part of the um the faction that the Final Fantasy fourteen main character becomes a part of? Um, I I only vaguely know the plot of Final Fantasy fourteen because of Kite and Folger. Hmm. Okazaha, it's good. We can count on you. Shinyan, are you coming? Seems like everyone's got things to do. I'll stay here and hold down the fort for now. Mona and Fish will have gone swimming and someone's got to set up camp. Shinyan, you're so nice. Don't worry, I got this. You're gonna take a look around, right? Well, make sure you let me know if there are any good views. Thanks, thank you. Do. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Um, so, my dear friend, the demon, the red demon of sorts, um, the red demon of sorts. So, we are now, yes, so, to, to explain where we are in brief fashion, I can't, I can't jump up here. So, almost exactly one year ago, Genshin Impact came out with a patch right before the release of Inazuma, where they came about with the Golden Apple Archipelago, a series of islands that provided the Traveler, Jean, Klee, and Barbara, who I have here in her summer outfit still, who were provided with a quest to try to face the Dodo King within the Golden Apple Archipelago, but it was all just a fun way for the unaging elf mage Alice to be able to have some fun playing with her daughter Klee. And so, a year later, we have now returned to the Golden Apple Ar- Archipelago. The reason being that Fischl, where wherever she went, <laughs> Fischl and Mona chanced upon Klee at some point, and they were talking about how Fischl wanted to revive her homeland, the Emernoct, Im- Immer- Immernoct, Immernoct, Immernoct Reich. Yes. And so, learning about Cle- uh, Fischl's destroyed homeland, Klee was very sad about this and asked her mother for advice, and so her mother Alice provided a doorway for which our party to return to the Golden Apple Archipelago and revive Fischl's homeland. <laughs> and who came along with us uh, when in need of a way to get to this island initially, we chanced upon the bard known as Venti. And Venti, who helped us get here last year on top of his dragon, was having a nice drink with Shenyan here, a rock and roll musician from Liyue, and Kazuha, who I have here. Hello. A wandering samurai from Inazuma. A poet. A friend. A precious bean. The best character in this game. Yes, yes, he did get- oh, you saw that, yes, he did get hammered. So, after- after Kazaha got hammered, we talked to Venti, and Venti already knew about what we were doing because of Alice, and provided us with a means of not only teleporting here through this thing, I guess, somehow, but also provided us with a communication device that I wonder if it's in our inventory. It is not. With a communication device in which to talk to him. So now we're here. Um, Fischl and Mona went to have a swimming contest. So I don't see them. Uh, we're Our next part of the quest is to go to an island that Kazaha has mentioned. If I open up my map... Uh, ah, 
Ah, I see. Oh, I see. Oh. Uh, yep, all the islands are about the same as last year, though it does seem... Even if you visited the islands before like I did, the map ended up resetting itself to, I guess, have more fun with the ex exploration. Yes, Kazuha, you, you, you use that sword. The sword that I was lucky enough to get. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, let's talk to Shen Yun real quick. Um, she decided to hang back and set up camp. Okay, I'll start by catching 10 crabs and 20 fish. Huh. Will that be enough for all of us? Uh, maybe I should prepare something else. There's, there's, there's plants over there. I think we can eat those. Okay, she's just preparing camp. Alright, so the next thing we're gonna do is, um, pick this up. Why does she have a southern accent? Um, I don't know. The... That would be a question for not the voice actress, because the voice actress... Oh, uh, fun fact. The voice actress for Shen Yang is the same voice actor for this character, Barbara. And she just has a normal, like, cute idol voice if she decides to talk anytime soon. Anytime now. Anytime now, Barbara. I wonder when I'll be as tall as my big sister. So, same voice as Shinyan. Very adorable swimsuit, unfair anime outfits. This is true. This is true. Um, this is actually the outfit that Barbara last year when we went to the Golden Archipelago. This was the first instance of characters having alternate costumes that were out for either purchase for the five star characters or in Barbara's case if you played the event that corresponded with the release of the outfit you got it for free. So you didn't have to pay for it. And the same is going on right now with Oh my god, that, like, if Mihoyo decides to sponsor me, that would be great. I'd be very good at plugging this. But, um, this year, Fischl has a new outfit as well. That, as we go about... Yeah, the VA does have range. As we go about doing this quest, we should be finding things to be able to unlock Fischl's new outfit. Hmm. 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 Standing around is making me so. No, shush, Barbara. <laughs> uh, what else I was gonna say? Um, but yes, the southern accent accent thing. Oh, that's good to hear. I do, I do plan on trying to get Deluxe's outfit soon, while it's still discounted. But I do need money first, so we shall see what happens. Maybe I get affiliate by then. Who knows? Who knows? I'm currently free to play. As it stands. This is just out here. Right. We're gonna unlock the boat and get on the boat and do the boat things. Summon the boat. Get on the boat. Last year, the Golden Ar Archipelago was also the first instance of us being introduced to the Wave Rider. How do I become an affiliate? I'd have to look it up again, but basically, um, I need to be streaming at least... Actually, you know what? Let's look it up right now. Because I have forgotten. Paimon floating in space. <laughs> Alright. Uh, loobidoo. Uh, affiliate. Twitch. I think it's an auto thing that happens. Like, I don't have to actually, um... Oh, here we go. Affiliate eligibility. Have at least 500 total minutes broadcast in the last 30 days. 
have at least 50 followers, at least seven unique broadcast days in the last 30 days, and an average of three viewers or more over the last 30 days. So basically, hey look, there's already four of you right here. How you doing? Um, so I suppose I'm fulfilling part of that right now. Just gotta broadcast as much as possible, gain a little bit of a following. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so far so good. Um, let's see. Yes. <laughs> good, good. All right, let us continue our sail along to find where Kazuha went. Oh, uh, did it? This, this way. Oh, what? All oh, this music sounds so good. Okay. I do have intention on playing Final F Final Fantasy XIV. I plan on joining the same server as um, Kite Hazegawa and all the Niji Sanji folks um, at some point, um, either Siren. But I'm. I could just start with the free trial, right? And grind as much as possible within the 14 days. And if I end up not getting any sort of revenue um, before then, then I can just drop it until I can. <laughs> um, crystal server. Sounds good. Although, I do plan on being on Aether, um, is the thing. Oh no. Alright, off we go. Into, into the water. Sail along we go. Is that a time trial? It's a time trial. This'll be fun. We'll get some prizes for this. Alright. Alright. There we go. There's two of those. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Where am I going? Where's the last one? It's over there. Wow, Tokyo Drift! Let's go! Haha! We got it! Hey! Chest! Can I open it from my boat? I cannot. If it's useful, I'll take it. Haha. about that. It's still very much in future plans. Um, at the very least, this week is going to be today Genshin and then some indie games on Itch.io. Which, if you follow me on Twitter, at Hattie Drago, uh, spelt the exact same way, you can get a view of my schedule. I just realized I didn't pen the tweet. Let me do that real quick. Mm-hmm. If you follow me on Twitter as well, it's where I'm going to be the most sussy possible, as Twitch has a TOS, and as much as I'm very down bad for a lot of 2D men in my life, um, I cannot- oh, look, I also got some follows here. Yes, yes. Let's see. Follow. Yeah. Huh. Interesting things that I'm seeing on my Twitter now. Yes, yes, good, good. Um, uh, t -t -t pen to profile. Pen. There we go. All right. My schedule is now my 
pinned tweet. I will be starting to play at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every day so that I can have my mornings to myself and kind of just game as much as I want. So let's go meet up with Kazuha somewhere in these islands. I also like Dragoon. I was, I was thinking about going Dragoon and maybe into Reaper if I ever grind that far. Oh, there's Cox. Con conscious. Or maybe we should do that later and un unlock some of the map first. Do, do, do. Oh no, sandbar. Well, we can walk over here. Ooh, puzzle? Haha, we have unlocked the broken isle and a little bit of this isle up here. Mm hmm. Da, 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 da. What's this? By ley lines. But it looks like a drum. I'll have to check it out later. Yes. What? Off we go! Oh, wait, we should probably unlock that wave rider point as well. Can I do so from my boat? Mm. Oh, yes! A lot less hilly trails here so far, but I am in the water. Those are probably some over there. Mm -hmm. Whee! Are you? Are we all saying that we're all DPS mains? Or, well, I'm not yet, but I will. I would be. Another teleport point over here that we're gonna park next to, as we're right near where we need to be. Oh, it's a little tent! Is that a Fatui tent? Where we unlock this while we're here, too. Da -da -da -da. There we go. Ooh, a chest over there. We'll have to get that later. Yep. Oh, there's a bunch of hilly cars there. Hmm. Well, that is where we're supposed. Wait, no, that's not a hilly churl camp. That's some kind of strange contraption. Oh, oh. oh hey, good. Ryan would be our tank. Good, good, good. Oh, what is this? Hey, what's that huge weird thing over there? It appears to be some sort of machine, and an army cap with traces of hydro next to it. It seems that we are not the first to set foot on this island. Oh no, the Fatui showed up? Also, there are footprints here. Fresh ones. Likely no more than a few days old. When did this happen? Really? Oh no! Hyman didn't notice them at all! Hyman? You don't hmm. notice a lot of things. Oh, right. Uh, Kazuha is kind of like a dog. Or like a calm version of Mista, where he can sniff out people. <laughs> Traveler, Paimon, stay alert. Will do. Why? Did you see something? Someone was here. And they're still nearby. Judging from the scent, they're visitors here like us. There's other people here? Oh, Paimon's scared now. Come on, we need to track him down. Ooh, a you mystery. The traces of hydro on it? Then let's follow the traces of elemental energy. Oh, right. Um, I forget which button that is. <laughs> That's not it. That's not it. Now! This way. 
There's, there's, I forgot I had a shortcut for that, right? I did not. Hang on. There's gotta be a button for that. Ah, there it is. Um, oh, okay. Okay, I found it. There we go. These flowers are shiny. Do I have to climb? Close. Watch out. Okay, Kazuha. There he is. Hang on, hang on. I gotta, I gotta do this in a cool way. I gotta go do this cool way. Hold on. Paimon. They got they get everywhere like weeds. Interesting observation. <laughs> Cappy Cap's gone. Where's Cappy Cap? Oh no, he's sad. Don't make me feel bad for the Fatui <laughs> again. Are you looking for something? A cap. I, I, can't, I can't lose it. You have one on your head. I don't know anything. Give me that cappy cap. Is this the cap you're looking for? My brother's cappy cap. What the gimme, fuck? Gimme, gimme, gimme. No, he's not. <laughs> well, he's a big dude. He is a big dude. He just seems very sad. Very, very big burly guy. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Although a lot of the other Fatui are very hot. Mm. Cappy cap. For, to the Fatu. Uh, this guy is not the sharpest sword in the sheath. Shut up, Paimon. Mm, don't bully me or I'll punch you in the... Ah, monster! Monster! Huh? Stop right there! What are you doing here? Eh? Another Fatus? What we do you can mean? ask you the same question. What are you doing here? Hmm? Protect Cappy Cap. My brother will get mad at me. Eh? Forget the cap. It's your brother we're looking for. Um, please explain. What happened to him? Nothing. He has a fever. He's just a little delirious, that's all. I don't know, it's... I don't it... have to tell you anything. Go bother someone else. I think we do. Um... This island belongs to our friend. You better watch what you say, mister. What? I thought this island was uninhabited. That's why we came here to... <clears throat> Never mind. All right, Persikov. Persikov? Persikov. Persikov. Better fess up. Fine. I'll tell you, but then you need to leave me alone. It depends on what it does, Persikov. It's a new kind of energy generator that I invented. We were simply looking for a deserted island to test it out on. There. Satisfied? Like we told you, this island is ours. Do not impede our vacationing. Yeah, and if you don't do as you're told, we'll, uh, oh, we'll take his cat. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> no, that's poor dude. What the hell? What did they hey, do to him? Stop crying. All right, I promise we'll stay within this area. Okay. I guess one explanation for why this one Fatui is like this, um, a lot of the Fatui are recruited from orphanages that are run by one of the Harbingers. In front of my salad? Uh, by the way, um, why is there smoke coming out of your machine? <sighs> because the cursed thing is broken. As much as I hate to say it, our tests did not go to plan. Paimon is a boy. Ready to leave anyway. 
hate- I, I just like Paimon very much. Like, she wasn't so bad to me. Her voice is annoying, but that's not the voice actor's fault. That is the company for making her as cute- try to sound cute. Um, but it really irked me during one of the Archon quests, uh, before. She does bully everyone, even if they don't deserve it. Yep. During one of the Archon quests, when we were interacting with Shinha, um, basically Shinha's backstory is like one of the darkest backstories that we've gotten, where she was raised by an exorcist whose wife was dying, and the exorcist ended up making a deal with a demon to try to, re like, after his wife died, to try to have the wife be revived. And end up giving up Shinha to the demon to try to get try to revive his wife, and he was so heartbroken about it, uh, hit her, that he ended up hanging himself. So, uh, trigger warning for suicide. My apologies, but the the that was actually like something written in the lore of what we were reading during that quest line, and, you know. You, the Traveler, and this other character that is with you, Yunjin, who happens to be writing a play based off of this story of Shenha, which has been more of a legend than anything else. And you and Yunjin are kind of just like embracing how dark this story is and feel bad for Shenha. And then Paimon is just like, Come on, let's hurry up! We have to collect the thing so that we can win the contest! And we just like... Paimon! What the hell? The contest isn't even important! We're already rich! Ugh. Paimon annoys me. Paimon is F Siri gained sentience to annoy those who ask dumb questions. That is very true. Shenha's story made me cry a little bit, but I cried a lot more learning about Conria and how Damesleaf and probably even Kaya are suffering from Conria's curse. I've never looked at Hilly Troth the same way since. Me neither. Like, I think it's part of the reason that I hardly do my daily commissions anymore. As much as it's a good source of a good source of primo gems, it means that I have to fight Hilly Troth all the time. Oh, well just see yourselves out whenever you're ready. Bye. Come on, let's go. Cappy Cap. <laughs> okay. Oh, this poor dude. This poor dude. Perzakov. Paimon can't believe we have to deal with the Fatui during our vacation. Right? Why Rude. would the Fatui appear in such an isolated corner of the world? Whatever How did their they reasons, even get here? it's likely more complicated than we might think. Even though we're on vacation, we should stay vigilant. Yep. Also, in the interests of keeping the ladies in good spirits, I have a suggestion. Not tell them about this? Let's keep this between yeah. us for now. Let them enjoy their vacation while the Traveler and I deal with any potential threats. What do you think? Yeah, the Conry Archon quest was very good. I also um, was getting choked up during the most recent Archon quest with Xiao. Because of how long I've had Xiao, like, gosh, almost, like, over a year at this- no. How long have I had Xiao? I've had Xiao for, like, a year and a half now. And he has been my main for most of that. Secrets make everything better. Makes sense? You're so considerate, Kazuha. Mm -hmm. Paimon, you flatter me. I simply don't think it's worth ruining anyone's vacation over a- trivial matter like this. That is a good point, but it might come to bite us in the ass at some point. The scenery is beautiful. I hope all of us can enjoy ourselves here. Yep, yep. Yes. The scenery. Oh, is there more things to do? More things to do. I'm probably gonna end up um... Gosh, how long have I been going now? Like, two hours? I'm probably gonna finish up with anything to do with the story 
right now, and then continue with anything that is more grindy later. Oh. Uh, there we go. Kazaha is like a smart pro tag of an adventure story, so yeah, secrets are good at the time, but the plot with the pot. The damned will sooner die it, yeah. again than lay a hand on me. Also, it's kind of funny. I have an auto mod feature since I am, um, I'm the only, I don't have a mod yet or any mods yet. Um, if I ever get too particularly swamped with people, I'll consider modding some people. But um, for some reason, uh, Nabiru, that comment was flagged by the auto mod feature because of the, the bite them part. It's very interesting. Um, kind of makes you think of what all they're thinking with their TOS system. But now you're good. You guys are good so far. Nothing, nothing too bad so far. So yeah, let's just wrap up whatever story we have left, and I'll grind and collect things another day. Because I have so many games I want to try out this week. Mm -hmm. And we have like, what, 30 days to get through all this? We're only mildly degenerate. Yes, yes we are. <laughs> Pork and cheese. Interesting, interesting. Boop. Pew, pew, pew. This music is so good, though. I, I think if you're on the fence of playing Genshin Impact, um, oh. Oh, we're about to watch a sunrise. Hold on. This is a good moment to kind of just chill about the game. Genshin Impact, like any game that exists, has its downsides. The gotcha system being one of them, having to pull and make and spend money to be able to get the characters you want, whatever. But the time and effort that the company is going through to be able to make a game this beautiful that is free to play. Just if you decided never to pull on a banner for a character ever and just use the free characters, that is totally doable. And in return, you get this beautiful game where they've simulated a sunrise that I'm... I'm gonna have to screenshot this real quick. This beautiful sunrise that's in here the music that accompanies it. And the story, while the story has some times where it is not 100% good, they're doing their utmost to tell a story. And one has to commend them for that. So if you're on the fence about playing Genshin, you're worried about the gacha system, you're worried about having to eventually grind for artifacts to be able to progress, or not, actually no, you don't even need to grind for artifacts to progress through the story. Um, all you really need is just playing the game to explore, to collect, to adventure, to interact with characters that are precious and sussy and Get drunk. Party. It is- it sadly is not an idle- well, it's not an idle game in the context of like, you sit there and you let the game do whatever. Um, but I will say it is also very good on mobile. <laughs> um. It's funny that you mentioned Grounded. Um, that was the video game studio that I used to work for. 
that made that game. <laughs> um, I, I worked on Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. Uh, this might dox me slightly, because you could go through the, um... Well, you already know who I am, Damon. But, yes, I, I used to work for the company that played Grounded. Or, that made Grounded. Alright. Let's continue onwards. We enjoyed a lovely sun sunrise with beautiful music. I think my biggest hang-up is that I got burned in Dragalia Lost and I'm not sure if I'm ready to invest myself in another gacha game. That is absolutely a fair point. What else? What I'll say to that is that there are people that have proven that you can play this game free to play without ever having to rely on the gacha system. Yes, the gacha system is there, and yes, you're able to gain resources to be able to pull on the... What are they doing? You're able to gain resources through the game just by playing the game to be able to pull on the banner for free. Um, with the time and effort, of course. It's really when you get to too hung up on what our version of the end game is. So, we have this thing. I'm not gonna teleport all the way to it right now, but um, we have this thing called the Spiral Abyss in this game, which is supposed to be whenever you finish like 100%ing exploration, which I haven't even done yet. I've 100% explored maybe two areas of the game. Um, the Spiral Abyss is supposed to be a way for you to have your characters that are maxed out to the ends of the earth kind of speed run through battling, right? And this is where a lot of people in the game are like, oh, this is our end game t content. This is where the meta of the game is. But honestly, I don't think the game is meant to be that way. The Spiral Abyss is there for those that want to do meta stuff. But honestly, the whole point of this game is to just explore and enjoy the story and the scenery and the puzzles. So the gacha system... It does mess you up if the connection is bad. That's, that's definitely a thing. It is not a game that you can play without Wi-Fi, unfortunately. Even if you are soloing like I am. Um, so that would be probably it, one big hang-up of it. And that gripe is partly due to just it having to... Let me think about this. How to phrase this. It's a mobile game. I'm playing it on PC, but it's on mobile and it's on PlayStation as well. So it has to be able to connect to something to be able to function. Otherwise, um, this, the data of the game, how much you have to download onto your phone, is already immense with how much content is in the game. It would be even worse if it also had to remember your save data. So that is part of the reason why it has to be online to be able to function. Because your save data is somewhere in the cloud of the ether that is your MiHoYo account, or HoYoVerse. It, yes, I, every time there's an update, do have to delete an app or two off my phone. Eventually, it is just going to be Genshin Impact that's on there. I think the next sacrifice might end up being Twisted Wonderland as much as I like that game. I've fallen off of it for other things. So, enough about me trying to shill the game. Mihoyo sponsor me. Sorry, Hoyover sponsor me. Let's talk to our our friends here. We're back. Hello, we're back. How was the Just race? Just in time. So, traveler, Paimon, who do you think the real swimming champion is? Me or official? I think it's the bird. I think the bird can swim. Cause birds can swim. I think it's the bird. <laughs> 
learn my supreme name and see how Lady Magistus, the presumptuous, is reduced to bitter tears. Uh, I'll go with whoever Paimon says is the winner. Oh, no, you don't. Don't put this on Paimon. Shut up, Paimon. Oh, wise Paimon. Surely you can discern who the Thank true you, winner is. Uh, that's why I play Genshin on my laptop, because I... Da, 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 da. Yes. It is, um... Genshin, I think, is best played on the computer. It is designed with mobile in mind, but I feel like if you're not good... If you're not good with the bow on mobile, and you end up having a really good bow character, then you're kind of missing out. Um, it's why I have Ganyu, which is one of the best DPS characters in that game. But... I had been playing exclusively on mobile for so long that I left her in the dust because I just couldn't play with her on the mobile. But the moment I got um, PlayStation, ended up playing it more. I think so. I think you can play with a controller on PC. But honestly, the controls for Genshin on the PC are pretty good. I am on computer while watching. I only had to refresh reconnect about four times, which is pretty good so far. Um, I think some of those were from my end, though. Um, but I'm not 100% sure how it occurred. I can't even use bow on PC unless I use a mouse and keyboard, and I prefer using a controller. That's the funny thing. I think I'm better on bow characters with controller than I am on... Uh, this might- although that might change if I ever decide to explore FPS games. Like, I do want to see- because I did like Overwatch back when it was originally in open- in- in the beta phases, but hadn't picked it up since, so I'm very curious to explore Valorant and Apex Legends, since those are free. Ah, okay. Lady Paimon, the time to show your loyalty is nigh. Yes, show your loyalty, Lady Paimon. Do it. Do it, Paimon. Wait, 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 wait. Shouldn't Paimon get some food in her first? Poor thing looks starving after such a long trek out. Shenyan is is the best person in the universe. <laughs> She's so oh, sweet. Thank you, Shenyan. If yo, if they didn't bring Shenyan, they would all been dead. They would not had food. Never played an FPS game for so long. Ah, Left 4 Dead 2. That's a good one. I used to play that a little bit with some friends back in the day. Mm. Yes, we did walk quite a long way. Yes, food makes everything better. Right? While you were off doing your own things, <gasps> I caught us some seafood and picked us a few fruits. They taste real good barbecued. Ooh. Oh, I suppose one thing I haven't explained about this game, for those that have not played this game, which is most of you, I think, um, each character in the game, um, out of, like, main playable characters, control at least, sorry, control one element on them. Um, so Shinyan here can control fire. If you see her little, little drum here, that little symbol there, that's her vision, where she gets her powers from. Uh, Kazuha has wind, Fischl has electro, Mona has water. Sorry, and of course there are different names. It's pyro, animo, electro, hydro. You as the traveler um, can switch in between elements. That's your special thing. Now that you mention it, I'm getting a little peckish myself. <sighs> I too. Maybe well, there's forget. plenty to go around, Fish. so dig in! I can't say I've got the culinary skills of my chef friend, but I promise you'll at least eat your fill. Mmm, time to eat! Inviting Lady Shinyan here was an astute decision indeed. Yes, Oz, I agree. Good bird. Paimon's done talking! You guys carry on if you want to go hungry. Kit. Paimon, rude. Oh, I love that barbecue smell! Mm. Devoured. Everything devoured. Mm, impressive. 
Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Paimon. Um, I guess they shared with the bird. Since Shinyan made dinner for us, allow me to take charge of breakfast tomorrow. Ooh. Yay, Kazuha breakfast. Because he also wrote, likes to make fish. Paimon, too! His specialty dish is, um, fish. Oh, oh, traveler, you forgot about something. What? What did I forget? Uh, let's talk over there. What? What did we forget? Paimon. Wait, even I don't remember what's... Eh? Are those watermelon? It's watermelon! Can I... Come. Sad. <laughs> Mint. That old thing with the fatui <laughs> is bothering you too, right? Well, remember the bomb thing that Venti gave us? We can contact him using that. Oh, that is a good idea, Paimon. You actually had a good idea. Thank you. Wait, no, not a bomb. Fenty said it's called a Dodo communication device. Dodo communication device? Yeah. Let's ask Fenty if he knows anything. He always seems clued in on everything, so if there's any intel floating around, he'll definitely know about it. Yeah, that seems that seems fine. Yeah. What? Ha ha ha! Ah, yeah. Yeah, they did make a character that is more annoying than Navi. That- the sound this little- little phone made is very funny, though. This bomb-shaped phone. <coughs> oh no, he's suffering from cat allergies. Hey, uh, miss me already? Hi, Venti. <laughs> I know that. <clears throat> you're the only person who can contact me on this thing. How come you're sneezing? He's allergic to cats. That's I why. know the cat's tail. <sighs> so many cats. They, they, they gave me some allergy medicine, but it's not working. <clears throat> okay, go on then. <clears throat> what are you calling about? Paimon, tell him. Could you be any lazier? Yes. <laughs> this game literally forces us to have you talk. Oh, look at that smoke smile. All right. Though. Well, Fenty, there's some strange things going on on this island. We ran into the Fatui. Uh, the Fatui? Yeah, they're everywhere, aren't they? <laughs> uh, the Cryo Archon's minions are a capable crew. I'd be more surprised if they hadn't shown up yet. But they're ruining our vacation! Exactly. Really? But, uh, <clears throat> you sound fine. They can't have caused you too much trouble, surely. Or, uh, if, if they did, I'm sure you have everything under control by now. <laughs> nah, Biru, that's very true. They would need text-to-speech. Although, the funny thing is, there is a voice actor for the main characters. Um... And there are voice lines in their character profiles. So, this is all, like, a decision they decided. Yeah, but something just doesn't feel right. That's why we came to you. Don't you have any information for us? Mm, I haven't heard anything new about the Fatui. <laughs> but <laughs> don't worry. I may be a lowly tone-deaf bard, but you may contact me whenever you need me. I mean, I can't promise I'll be of much help, but uh, at least you'll have someone to talk to, right? Uh, sometimes just talking things through is enough to calm a worried mind. How wise for someone who gets drunk all the time and is allergic to cats. Ugh, honestly. Adventuring is what you do best. It's only natural to encounter a few surprises when you head somewhere new, but just remember, not all unexpected encounters are dangerous. The same wind graces the seaside as that which wafts over pastures green. Whenever you see clouds, it was the wind that carried them there. Don't worry, my friends. The wind will always be with you. 
Fenty is kind is kind of nice though. He's a nice okay, person. So I have to go now. My performance in the cat's tail is starting any second. <laughs> He's gonna suffer. Okay, bye. So he means we don't need to worry too much about the Fatui, right? I thought as much. Well, if that's what the tone deaf bard says, then fingers crossed we'll have a peaceful and relaxing vacation where nothing weird happens at all. I don't know about that. When you go off on a long trip with your friends, the important thing is to have fun. Uh huh. Quest complete. More quest. I wonder what it looks like on his end. Their bard is just talking to a bomb in the middle of a tavern, surrounded by cats. Surrounded by this scenery is cats. wonderful. Surely enough to convince anyone to become a wanderer. Oh, um, to to even note more. Um, so the bar that let's see, Venti. Hi, Venti. So the bar that Venti is at right now, the Cat's Tail Tavern. Um, he's allergic to cats, and the bar's bartender is this child. Diona, who herself is a cat. For no reason, actually. Like, the Cat's Tail Bar had cats before she showed up. As to why this very, very s small child is a bartender. Um, her dad is a drunk. <gasps> who dat? Oh, hello! Yes, hello cat. Kate. Kate. Kate is fine, yes? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the library. Um, so, yeah. So the reason Diona is a bartender is because her dad is drunk. No, no, no. She didn't get it because of nepotism. Um, she, the bar that she works at is owned by just some other person. Um, but her dad is a hunter and out in a village just outside of Mondstadt. And he's very, very drunk. So Diana's whole goal in life is to make drinks taste terrible so she can get her dad to stop drinking. But her problem... I just noticed that this is a midriff and I'm kind of uncomfortable with that. Anyways. Um, her whole... So she unfortunately has a talent of making all the drinks that she makes delicious, even if she combines, like, really gross ingredients. Mm hmm So, she's just... She's... She is suffering in success. She hates alcohol, but is somehow the best bartender there. Speaking of bars, the other bar that we were in is owned by this guy. Yes, like Shion. This is Deluke. Uh, he's the owner of the Dawn Winery and also of the tavern that we were in earlier today. He's a nice person. He's a very, very nice person. I don't have him leveled up as much. I got him pretty late in the game. Um, but he's cool. Anyways. Yeah, she's like Master Chef or Master Bartender skill. But... She really didn't want to. She wants to ruin the alcohol energy in, in her industry. Okay. So, gosh. Gorsh. I'm wondering how much of this event that we have unlocked. Oh god. Oh, oh gosh. Sorted Ananda. Oh, it's shiny. Um. Ah. Uh, Getting rid of all the exclamation points. Um, uh, 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 this ex this was not really what I was looking for, but it's very pretty. And I'll be sure to explore it later. Who is this? Oh, this is that. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. So also, if you decide to play Genshin anytime soon and you play through this event and collect all the things. 
um, progress through the story and such. You can also invite Fischl to your party for free. Um, this also means that if you... Hoyer hire this me. World I roll. Um, that also means if you... Where is she? If you already own Fischl and you decide to play through this quest, you can unlock a constellation from her. Because the way this game works, unfortunately, and this is where if you decide to whale as a player of this game, whale the gotchas and spend a lot of money, um, when you pull a character seven times, once for their initial pull and then six additional times, you get their kind of full power set this isn't really necessary, it's just flavor on top, and sometimes it does change how the character works. Mm -hmm. Sometimes for the worst, because a lot of people tend to not like this character's last ability. I do. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. So, that's a bit. But every... I carry memories of my home. Shut up, Kazuha! <laughs> I love you, but shush. So every, oh no, too far. Okay. Every other patch, they tend to come out with an event that gives you a free character. And then in the alternate patch after that, they give you a free weapon. Of course, you have to work through the event to be able to get any of this, but it's nice that it's there. Let's see. Uh, it said six, I think? There we go. We're gonna fast forward through time. Oh, this is one of the very few times that it didn't like go up. Huh. Still have a sleep, you can make out the sound of God damn it. Wake up! Traveler, wake up! I don't want to. Oh, thank goodness you're awake. Uh Hyman has good news and bad news. Which one do you want to hear first? Ah, okay, okay, Paimon, sorry. Wake up, something's happened. <laughs> Did our character just like, no, I don't want to deal with this. Go back to sleep. Ah. Alright. Uh, I'm okay. listening. Uh, bad news first. The bad news is... Something weird's going on with this island. No. A magical set of islands that rose out of the ocean that are controlled and owned by a mystical, unaging elf mage that likes to make bombs into everything? No, nothing could possibly going wrong with this island. No, I would not want to deal with Paimon, but we're here, here anyway. And the good news is... Uh, is... It seems like it has nothing to do with what we came across yesterday. Today is a different issue entirely. And what might that be? Ah, look, she's awake. The fuck? Is that a squirrel on our boat? Is the squirrel on our boat talking? No, the last time I dealt with a talking squirrel was from a reverse harem anime. No! I'm glad you think Paimon is adorable, Ori. Mm -hmm. Careful not to frighten her. She's probably just like the others. <sighs> Humans. Such delicate little things. What is this? How are you doing, mate? Feeling a little fragile? Is the boat talking? Is that the boat? Is that the squirrel? What is this? Are we dreaming? Huh? So, as you can see, the boat can talk. <laughs> I might just go back to sleep. No! Avoidance isn't gonna solve anything! Traveler's so over it. <laughs> Poor soul. Imagine being scared of talking squirrels and boats. What do you mean? What is this? What happened? I don't have enough coffee for this. Ha! Well, we can't blame Fantastic her. Boat, After all, ship. humans aren't quite accustomed to hearing things like us talk. Yes! We are not accustomed to... 
to animated objects that are summoned out of nothing, and random freaking squirrels to talk. Wait, have you guys always been able to talk? <laughs> of course! Otherwise, Strange how would we communicate here. with others of our kind? Strange life form here. Uh huh. This is this is got this has got to be a dream, right? So this has got to be a dream. We suddenly gained the ability to understand you. <laughs> how strange! That is a big squirrel, but I but that's a normal sized squirrel for this universe. Maybe you've gained some intelligence. Congratulations! Shut up, squirrel! God, I what is this? Why am I being bullied by a squirrel in a boat? So you're finally awake. Time to rise and shine. Do do you guys hear the boat? Oh, you're back. Yes, we went for a little walk. The enchanting scenery and pleasant weather here. Please tell me y'all hear the boat and, and the squirrel. Please. Everything is fine. Except that some places are a little peculiar. Okay, yeah, I mean, we, we have Oz here that's been able to talk this whole time, but we kind of understand him of, of some kind of manifestation of <laughs> Fischl's Junibio nature. Oh, the servants of darkness have descended. Rejoice, for the return of the Imanok Reich is nigh. Is the talking boat your fault, Fischl? Please change it. <laughs> Main Fräulein means that this is an unexpected development, and she has never seen anything like this before. No, that's not even close to what she said. Oh, my apologies. Please take that as my own opinion. What, what happened? After last night, there have been some unusual spectacles on this island. Like the talking boat and squirrel? Yes. Swimming birds, flying squirrels, the sun and moon in the sky together. Some of these sights only lasted for a moment, but that doesn't make it any less bizarre. Uh-huh. Is this like Alice in Wonderland or something? I heard a strange flapping sound on the island, but didn't see a single flying creature around. Uh-huh. There was also a peculiar floral scent on the wind. Though there are many flowers on this island, that scent did not resemble any of them. Mm-hmm. True. Why, hello, Flyball Ninja. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the library. We are just trying to digest. Um, a talking... Our boat started talking, and there's also a random squirrel that started talking. And then now also our friends are saying that there's more peculiar things happening on this island. Or these this uh, set of islands. Mm -hmm. um, and to introduce myself, I'm Hattie Drago. I'm a dream eater of knowledge VTuber who is trapped in a library. So thank you for coming to visit. I hope you can check out a book soon. I just came up with that. That was very nice, actually. I'm going to keep that. Um... Currently, I'm playing Genshin Impact. I was stuck in the woods for a week um, through a loophole in the library's contract. So, I could not play Genshin for like a week. And I'm catching up on the story quest. This is the summer event, yes. So, this is, um... Oh, that's fine, Asmo. No worries. I'm gonna catch up on those VODs later. Um... <laughs> and yes, that was part of my lore. Um, yes, we're, cu we're currently playing through what exists of the 2.8 summer event story of Genshin Impact. We're back on the Golden Archipelago Islands. I actually visited these last year. Um, not on stream, of course, because I just started this week, but... Been here before. A fun time. But now there have been very strange occurrences uh, occurring. It seems to me like whatever these things are, they aren't visible to the naked eye. Ah. I tried to perform a divination, but my scry glass showed only a chaotic mess that was impossible to decipher. Ooh, Paimon has a bad feeling about this. Oh, what have we gotten ourselves into? Trouble. Hmm. I had resolved to summon the Imanokreich in this land, but now we observe these puzzling phenomena. 
Could this be the spawn of the condemned trying to thwart my sacred endeavor? Official. Wait, you don't think Alice could be behind all this, do you? But if it really was her, it wouldn't make sense to do all this. <laughs> oh, look at them, old chap. Seems we scared the pants off them. Clay, I, I can't. I can't with the talking squirrel. We were just talking about Brothers Conflict yesterday. I don't like talking squirrels. Um, if any of you decide to go rewatch the VOD of my debut, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But um, <clears throat> I am a, uh, a big fan of Reverse Harem Otome games and anime. And Brothers Conflict, while terrible, is one of my guilty pleasure anime. And I hate the talking squirrel in it. So I hate this one. A lot. I well, they've never seen anything like this before. And the boat is talking too. Ugh. This old boat sailed all over the briny seas in its time, and tried talking to many a sailor too. But in all that time, not a single person has ever spoken back. I feel like I've gone mad. <laughs> <laughs> exactly! If it weren't for this environment, who would have thought humans would be able to chat with us? What do you mean, environment? This environment? What do you mean by that? Thank you, Paimon. Oh, the environment. Uh, could it be that... that the environment is what's interfering with my divinations? <laughs> yeah, people... Uh, sailors probably talk to their boats all the time. Oh, actually, I just thought of something. Ah, hmm. No, that's not too bad. So I have my VTuber slightly blocking the dialogue choices. I will read them out as I click them now. Um, but I do have my model here to block my UID because I don't want random invites. When will Paimon digivolve into something with a better voice? I don't know. I do believe in the voice actor, the voice actress. Uh, she she does very good work on other projects. I I solely blame the Hoi- This is going to be why I don't get a sponsorship. Um, I blame Hoyoverse for how bad Paimon sounds, not the voice actress. The voice actress is just doing what she is told to do. Um, feels like I might be still dreaming. Ah, uh, even if you were, dreams aren't supposed to become reality, right? And a dream won't make you suddenly understand boats and squirrels. Yeah, you do kind of get used to Paimon. Like, her voice is fine, um, but sometimes how annoying she is in the plot gets to me. I did hear Maria is Australian as well. Yes. Uh, for those that don't, don't know about what Osmo is talking about, there was a recent wave of Niji Sanji EN members that came out yesterday. Iluna. Um, and they're very lovely. And so now there are four Australians that are in Niji Sanji Ian. Yes. What's wrong? Look! Over there! Oh no, what does she see? Oh god, the face! It's it's nighttime all of a sudden. And there's a cutscene. Um Uh Those are maple leaves. Those are those are Kazuha's trees. What in the world was that? An illusion? No, it felt too real to be an illusion. Attack of the unlifening castles. Fischl's Chuni world has invaded the real. 
Fischl's, yes. And then also Kai and also Kazuha's, because um, those trees that popped up, um, how do I explain this? If you see Kazuha's outfit, um, he is jokingly who we call the Canadian samurai, because his whole aesthetic is maple leaves and the maple tree. Even his um, constellation in the game, which is actually not only a mechanical thing, but a story thing is of like a maple tree, a Japanese maple tree. Um, so seeing those trees is also very significant. Those things we saw flickering in and out, that's exactly what I saw earlier this morning. Oh. Does this mean the Amanagrash is real? What do you mean? Wait, what? Oh. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> Behold, the Amanakreish has come, nice save. just as your princessin had prophesied. Come, my people, a new chapter awaits us. Indeed, main Fräulein. We all have witnessed this miracle with our own eyes, and now is the time to celebrate the creation of a new world. Rejoice. Yep, the Chuni phase is continuing. <laughs> Welcome to the Yamanakurash! Uh-huh. He looks so happy. Paimon doesn't have the heart to character interrupt breaks. her right now. Yeah, Fischl has some of the best character breaks where, like... God, I, I need to actually read her story stuff. Um, Maybe on stream, maybe in my own time. Like, just read through all the story blurbs that exist in her character profile. Um, Because... I want to know how much of any of this she actually believes is real or what she's pretending to. Because this is interesting. Oh, she doesn't seem surprised in the slightest. Does that just come with being an experienced adventurer or...? If this isn't an illusion, we ought to go and investigate. I got an idea. If you hurt yourself in a dream, you wake up right away, don't you? Um, hmm. Yes, you have a point. Right? So come on, Kazaha, hit me. Uh, I'd rather not. Uh, how about you hit me instead? Look at him, he's so polite. He's like, no, I don't want to hit you randomly. But that'll hurt real bad. And she doesn't want to hurt anyone either. No. Can I just punch Paimon? Is that an option? Hey, <laughs> there'll be no need for any of that. Just leave it to us. Hey, Chadley, <gasps> can Paimon hit you? Am I psychic? What do you mean? Where's the yes option? Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> ha I like your senses of humor, me hearties. An illusion. So, talking boats and squirrels are just an illusion to humans, huh? Y yes. Now, but now, it's understandable, old chap. Haven't you heard? As humans grow older, they forget many important things and lose many of their abilities. What the hell are you talking about, you squirrel? Aye, so they do. No. A pity to be sure. Thinking back, in all those years I spent sailing with the fleet, I would have never imagined that one day I'd be laughing over something like this. Well then, me lads and lasses, don't you want to take a wee gander at all the places you're so curious about? This is why you don't drink seawater. Yep. Of course, but how do we get there? Look, here. Your boat, but... At what? At what? Blimey, at me, of course. Oh, that's right. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm the smartest chip you'll find in all of these parts. The names... Uh, just call me whatever takes your fancy. Excuse me, what? Don't you have a name? That I do. I just can't remember it. All I know is that I came here from Inazuma. So you're a Japanese boat. Okay then, this explains everything. <laughs> Will the boat and squirrel be featured characters on the next banner? <laughs> yes. Um, so the boat has a hydrovision. Uh, he uses his... Um, Rudder like a claymore. 
Um, yes, and he's from Inazuma. And the squirrel is probably going to be a new Dendro character or a Geo character. And maybe they're a Catalyst user because they can't pick up anything else. In that case, Paimon shall name you... <gasps> Mitaburu! How's that? All the other ships in Inazuma seem to have names ending in Rue, too. Did you just name our ship Meatball? Yeah, they would turn Hasbando. But Paimon just named the boat Meatball! I'm not letting that go. Mitoboru. Ha! That'll do nicely. His, his name is Meatball! <laughs> no. <laughs> You're lucky to have met me. I can sail through the choppiest seas with ease. Why is this there isn't a wave out there that can capsize me. So, come aboard, and I'll take you wherever you'd like to go. Uh huh. Ah, how very kind of you, old chap. Unlike that animal archon who abandoned us here. You can't see me, but I'm face palming right now. It might be messing up my model, but whatever. You mean to tell me that Venti left Meatball the boat and this stupid squirrel here? Why? You know, the animal are kind of Mondstadt. Why? Don't you know? Some of these islands used to be Mondstadt's mountaintops. Once upon a time, the animal archon sliced them off to neaten the place up and chuck them into the ocean. Ah, okay. My great, 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 uh, great grandfather was on one of the mountaintops and got sent flying here along with it. Wretched animal archon. Excuse me? Oh, okay. 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 We're supposed to believe a squirrel? He sounds old. He is gray and on the sea, so he is old salty meatball? No! <laughs> that's, that's great. Because talking squirrels are the worst! How could that happen? And we've been living here for generations since then. <laughs> Fortunately, there were a few other squirrel families that got stranded on these islands as well. So we built ourselves a kingdom here. I'm crying. What is this? Why is there a squirrel kingdom? No. Uh, I don't care if my model is glitching. Uh. Yeah, the squirrel from Ice Age is fine. He can't talk. The good thing is that there are no predators or competitors around. All the pine cones on this island are ours for the taking. The bad thing is, we're stuck here. Didn't see that coming. Sounds like the Immernacht Reich is a kingdom of squirrels. Hold thy tongue! Paimon, please do not make such slanderous statements. The Imanakreish is, of course, a kingdom of night ravens. Hey, lad. Yes, you. You're from Inazuma, aye? That makes us brothers, ha! I need Every young lad of Inazuma has to pluck up the courage to set sail on an adventure one day. So, are you coming? I do... Whenever, whoever, whoever is voicing Meatball, the boat, 10 out of 10 performance, it still is very strange to me, but 10 out of 10 for Meatball. <laughs> oh, he's so happy. This is Kazuha Appreciation Hours. To set hours. sail is to leave one's homeland and travel far away. Hi. You need lots of courage, and just a dash of heartlessness. 
Because once you leave, you may never return. But if you stay, you're forever a prisoner in your own heart. Those are wise words from about. <laughs> Inspiring words, Mitoboru. And you're right. Meatball. The wanderer's spirit runs in my blood. I'll go with you. My friends, are you coming too? I want to take a look at the strange phenomena on that island. Also, I smell ancient timber and waterproof varnish on this boat. The scent is indeed from Inazuma. So I believe he speaks the truth. All right. Um, good job, Kazuha. Or he, he sniffed out... He sniffed out the truth of the meatball boat. Huh. Not much as everyone think. Oz, lay down the gangplank. What? Thy princessin shall take to the seas. Ah, okay. Let's all go. It'll definitely be an experience. Are you bringing the squirrel with us? Ha! Great. And we're off. Safe travels. Oh, no, good. The squirrel is not coming with us. Oh, thank God. That was just the start of the quest. Oh, we're going to be here another hour. Should I just stop here? No. No, I need to see this through. Like, like how, how, how. Good going, lads and lassies. Mitoboru admires your bravery. How long have you been here? Oh, it's not your first time. Ha! <laughs> well, I never. I picture meatball human form having a monocle and a beard and a cane. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. All right, let's go, meatball. I will do side side event things off stream because I've already been going for for three hours now, and this is getting a bit long in the tooth. Oh no! I'm just sailing on me boat, on me borrowed deep boat. It does. You gotta go, but enjoy your magical adventure with Meatball, the fantasy boat. Thank you, Ori. Thank you for dropping by. I'm glad you could join me on our glorious, uh, on this glorious adventure. And I will, I will sail along with Meatball here. I do love this music, though. But yeah, I'm gonna word. I'm gonna worry about all this side content another day. Oh, a tree. Oh, that's where we're going. We're almost there. Please take all your personal belongings with you, and mind your step as you disembark. Th thank you, meat ca Meatball. Look! There's something over there! There's a tree. Well, it's... Let's take a closer look. Can I- can I get the teleport point first? Thank you. There we go. Cool. We're going on a trip in our favorite meatball ship. <laughs> Y'all, that's great. That's a good one. Oh my goodness. Well, I certainly didn't expect to see you here. What is that? Is that isn't that a bonsai tree? Bonsai pot, right? Yeah. It's nice, but it looks like it's been a little neglected. Uh-huh. This bonsai was in my family for many generations. Yeah, I saw right. it once in a Tenryo Commission warehouse, but it looked quite different from how it does now. Right, we were there for that. That was the last um, event quest. At that time, there was a withered tree inside. Why would someone keep the plant in there if it's dead? It's a way of sending a secret message. It indicated that there was something hidden inside the flower pot. There was a letter buried down at the bottom, which told of an ancient secret in my clan. 
I did not take the bonsai with me after reading the letter, which means it should still be in the warehouse now. Ah, okay. I um. wonder who removed the plant and placed the pot here. I mean, Venti was there for that event, at least in my playthrough, so that would be one explanation. So the bonsai pot belonged to your ancestors? Seems a shame to leave it empty like this. Huh. Kaza, what do you think about maybe putting a little something inside it? <laughs> All right. Though I still don't understand why it has appeared here, I can give that a try. Hmm. Very mysterious. Huh? It? 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 What is this loading screen? It? It? I even knew it wasn't gonna be that simple. Ah! What? It? Huh? What? Oh yeah! Everyone's here except for Kazuha. Kazuha, where are you? Are you okay? Oh my god, we've been isekai'd somewhere. No response. Well, let's keep an eye out for him. It's an isekai look at the isekai. decor here. It's like the inside of a grand mansion. I don't think this is a perilous <sighs> maze. Oh, I it's see. Dun, dun, dun. Um, so for backstory's sake, um, Kazuha... His last name Ka Kaidahara. The Kaidahara clan in Inazuma, which is basically the ja Japan-inspired area of the game. Um, the Kaidahara clan was a, a once prominent clan that served under the shogunate. Um, we ended up learning in an event quest two patches ago that um, the Kaidahara clan, why they fell into ruin was because they were prominent swordsmiths so, sword smiths and they couldn't follow the blueprint of this one sword blueprint and so they were dishonored um but the thing was the blueprint was actually tampered with with false ink and so basically they were sabotaged and properly kind of disowned by the shogunate eventually. So now Kaidahara is the only one of the clan left, really. And he doesn't go to his home anymore. He became a wanderer. Dishonor on your meatball. <laughs> Basically. Um, so that's why, like, um, Kaidahara follows the samurai tradition that his family had, um, but he doesn't know how to swordsmith. Uh, that wasn't really passed down to him. But I'm sure this is all part of his troubled past as well, which is interesting. Most curious. What secrets lie within this place I shall surely uncover. Yeah, this is actually really interesting. Um, let's start behind us. So we've got What's this? The prismatic rampart can be used to fire arrows of different colorations. You can adjust the prismatic rampart's angles of elevation, d depression, and rotation. I wish I could adjust my depression, thank you, to allow it to hit targets in different positions. I'm kidding, I'm not, I'm fine. Uh, prismatic seals of certain colors can be dispelled by arrows of the same color fired. There are three different colors for seals and arrows. After you have picked up a prismatic gem, you can unlock a new arrow color at the blue... Okay. Interesting. So this one is like yellow. This one is like green. Um, this color um, and we have this this one's kind of empty over here but I assume it can it'll go uh, ploop ploop or something huh who 
Who was... Oh, my favorite of the um, Niji Sanji Yen debuts? It would be Ren. Um, Ren Zoto definitely is my vibe of character. Um, and then I do enjoy all of them in general, but the fact that I can tell who Scarl... Scarla is uh, makes her all the better. Like, I think she's going to be doing an amazing <laughs> job. I'm so proud of her for getting to where she is. Ooh, a switch! Let's not mess with anything and just explore for a moment. Um, <laughs> can I? I can has. I can! Can I climb? No. Sad. Come here. Uh. Oh. Just think about Meatball and his manly husbando boat self. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Good choices. Good choices. Check the notes. Ah. <clears throat> When I was flipping through some old books today, I found my father's old notes. I read them, of course. He wouldn't mind. As I expected, most of the content concerned forging techniques as well as tricks on how to handle certain ores. The tail end featured a number of hand-drawn drafts, mostly bonsai designs. Well, I suppose this love for them does count as a clan tradition. My son turned six this year. His name is Kazuha, just as my wife wished. Oh no, wait, did, no, did Kazuha's mom die when he was young? No, that's so sad. No, protect our precious baby. His, his coming and her going were not far apart. To think that it was, it has been since, it has been six years since then. If she were still here, she would surely be helping my father in the yard. My father lived well in his younger years, and that lifestyle has greatly, greatly deteriorated in his later ones. It fills me with shame to admit that I am unable to improve these circumstances. He says that it is not important, however, and that it is instead we who are young who are the key. That is... that is so sad. No. So... So Kazuha, after he was born, his, his mom died not too long afterwards, and... It seems like um, Kazuha's grandfather has kind of deter. It says that lifestyle has greatly deteriorated. It doesn't say yet because this is like this is written by Kazuha's dad when Kazuha was six. I mean, he is a protagonist. <laughs> this is. This is definitely the case. No, poor baby. I just want to hug the Kazuha now. It looks like this letter was written by Kazuha's father. You better not say anything offensive, Paimon, I swear to God. So keeping bonsai plants really does run in the family. Hmm. But the fact that we're even here and could see his father's notes, it just seems so unbelievable. <laughs> That's... it's so sad! What is this? Um... Okay. Okay, this doesn't seem to do... oh, wait. This doesn't seem to do anything yet, so let's... Oh! Oh, 
I see. Oh, I see. So this fires. Um, this can redirect to other places. Okay. I understand. I understand now. So we need it. We need to find a different puzzle that gives us this color so that we can change the color of this. Okay. I understand now. Ah. Ah. It. The room changed! Wait, what? It, it, no, no, wait, what? It. I am... I am confusion. Oh, wait, no, I get it. So that's the utility room, and this is gonna be changing it to something else. Oh! All oh, a chest. I can't open it. Satch. Huh. This is like a dream representation of Kazuha's old home. Probably. A mansion that <gasps> ran into ruin. Oh. Okay. Huh. Oh! Oh! This is sideways. And very strange. This is a cooking pot. This is very trippy. This is a cooking pot, and this is a weapon rack. Huh. What? My mouse is getting stuck. It's on a cable. There we go. Ah. Oh. Then I can climb back up if I need to. Wait, where did I just come from? Where did I come from? Where did I go? I just came from. But no, wait, no, this is, this, this is not where I came from. This is new. Okay. Okay, we found another, another green fire, firing thing. Um. Oh, we also found, oh. Oh, this is so interesting. We can change it to go to the collection room or to other unknown chambers. We'll leave that for now. Oh, there's more arrows here. Uh, they, oh! Um, there's a chest in here that I don't seem to be able to unlock. This is here. This is a representation of uh, the god, I think. Or in Nazuma, but I don't remember 100%. Okay, let's see what this says. Huh. To my dear father, Kaidahara Kageharu. I, I don't remember what, um, if that's Kazuha's dad or not, or if that's the grandfather. No mimics. No careless opening. No, there's no, there's no mimics. Ever, f ever since the official dissolution of our house, I have packed my bags and left our ancestral home, wandering the world, and I have learned much on this journey. Oh, I th wait, did... Okay, this is written by Kazuha. Okay. This is written by Kazuha to his father. Today, I was reminded of the many sing scenic artworks you drew in your notes as I passed some seaside cliffs by. The sight gave me much to think about. A wanderer's leisure is not the tradition of our clan, but the appreciation of scenery surely counts. I believe it was great-grandfather who started that particular practice. You mentioned that he enjoyed planting small trees, loving their supple branches, 
while grandfather was of a different temperament, enjoying fiddling with stones more. When I was young, our backyard was full of the many curious stones that grandfather collected. Back then, I thought the ground was littered with treasure, but now that I know much more of the world, I can be quite certain that at least some of them were sword-testing stones that Grandfather brought back from the forging, situ the forging station. I know precious little about the stones, believing them all to be of great value. But can there really be so much treasure in life? I am writing this letter as I rest in a shady spot on a hilltop. I intend to burn this letter shortly before using the water from a mountain stream to quench the remnant embers. This way I believe that the message will reach you. Though you can no longer receive letters, I dismissed the servants after your passing and settled our various assets. It isn't worth much, but it's enough to live on. I fear that our bonsais may not have fared as well as I hoped. I sold what I could get my hands on to pay our debts, save for great-grandfather's old relic. It was confiscated by the Tenryo Commission. That said, I suspect that staying in their storehouse may have been a better fate for it than remaining in my hands. I have not been here in a long while. The wind whistling through the mountains is just as lovely as it was when you first brought me here many years ago. I'm setting off again Farewell, Kazuha. I'm gonna type my reply to, to the mimic conversation, but like, oh my god. So Kazuha's dad is dead as well. So I assume that with, gosh, like, ah, oh, Kazuha, no, Kazuha, you poor baby, <laughs> he is the main character, oh my god, <laughs> so his mother died right, right about after he was born, and his father, and I assume his grandfather as well, have both passed away as well, and so his clan is just him now. So he became a wanderer and pretty much sold everything that he could, save for a few things that were confiscated by the Tenryo Commission, who are kind of like the police in, in Azuma. This is so sad. And he apparently burnt this letter. So this is just a figment of a memory of his that is here in this place. What the hell? Looks like a letter Kazaha wrote while he was traveling. Oh, what a sad letter. <clears throat> Lord Kazuha. Yo, you can see that the letter is also burnt here as well. That's, that's so sad. So both died. Then use a reanimation technique to bring them back. No, this. No, we don't need to revive anyone. <laughs> okay. Um. I'm. I'm gonna experiment with something. Hi. Why can't I just? Can Can I not just jump? up? there we go. Let's just see what happens if I do this. goes into nothing. I could probably like make this go uh, let's go this way that way 
And... Oh, maybe if it hits the chest, that'll do something. Let's see. Boop, 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 boop. Boop. Fire. Give me chest? No. Huh. Interesting. Um, I'm gonna leave it like this though, because this seems to be the answer <laughs> to the puzzle. But I perhaps need to change something. What does this do? Oh no, this is probably that room, right? Yes. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Unknown chamber. More stairs. Brilliant. Oh good, I can fight now. I can show off my people. Let's dance. Order guide my blade. One with nature. needed for something else. Oh, it, it hops around when we walk. <laughs> I would say... Cool. Well, we no longer need this room, it seems. Uh, let's go back to collection room. So that was the dojo. Um, actually, wait. Before any of that... <laughs> My shower hacks have failed me. Ah, eh. Eh. Wait, what? Eh? Shut up. <coughs> Where did. Where did it go? Oh, was I not supposed to have it leave that room or something? Did I screw that up? Oh, or did it, um. Still there? Okay. Oh, maybe this will allow us to get the chest, at least. Okay, cool. Um, let's go back here. I do love a good puzzle. <laughs> and then... Fire. That's a color that makes me think of something I've been experiencing today with- Ah, oh, now I changed it. Um, so it reset it. I swear, Shao has gotten nerfed. Yay! Chest! Yay! Speaking of, can I make any pulls right now? I can! I'm gonna do a single pull. I never- I, uh... I would save for other things, but I do want, um... I want to try to get this character, the new one. His name is Hazo. 
So I'm going to just be doing single poles whenever I can. Mm -hmm. And I could always use more constellations for Toma. And if I happen to get Kazuha again, awesome. Also, just so you know. <laughs> no, there are no dragon slayers here. There is a dragon, though. Zhang Li is a dragon. Uh, this is Klee. We've been, uh, she was mentioned a lot at the beginning of the story. There's seven days left of this banner, but Klee is here. She's adorable. Uh, she throws bombs at people, and she's just a little tiny terrorist. Mm -hmm. Heizo. Yeah, his name is Heizo. Um, it's, uh, it's not spelt that way. Um, let me, let me pull up a thing. Oh, I can't. I can't because I'm in the domain. Um, I'll pull it up later. Let's continue! Continue! Um, there was another unknown room here. Let's go there. Next. Oh, but then also, can I... is... Hello? Please let me do that hack at some point. Um, actually no, it's probably not the right color. It was more of an orange, I think. Oh, this one's yellow. Um, can I get it to go that way? Huh. Can I... Where's the thing? Hi. Can I get you to... Oh, no. So I have to change each individual one to become the color that it needs to be. Okay. So at some point, yeah, the leaf thing. So, oh, wait a minute. Can I just, oh, oh, I'm dumb. To be fair, I didn't think I could pick that up at the beginning. So that that's what I'm going with. And then that's already pointed at the chest. Okay. We were supposed to have done this first. Ha ha ha. the chest is ours. Let's go. And I guess we don't really need to go back for anything now. We all just have to go forward. And then, so now, yep, we have a new room. Oh, when you find melodic omamori, you can pick them up and carry them with you. Mm -hmm. Place melodic omamori in a special shrine to cause certain changes in the surrounding area. Uh, oh, there's the thing. Um, and here are the special shrines. And here's a door that I can't get through. So I guess that's the goal. Hi. Pick up. Uh-huh. Can I put you in here? I can. Anything change? Probably not yet. Probably get a second one and open the door. All right. Easy, easy does it. <laughs> you heard nothing. Okay, there's down. Oh! Oh, these doors, these walls are very interesting. Everything is very skewed. What? Can I... Can I go there? Can I... Okay. Nope. Sag. Ooh, everything is very... So, for those that are new to the game, um, pretty much anything that's kind of like a fantastical dungeon is called a domain in this game. Hmm. Important to know. Oh, that lantern is on its side. Oh. These jars are on their side. Oh, this whole wall is on its side. Hold up. Oh, I see. If you tilt your head to the left, it's all interesting. This is like a Ripley's Believe It or Not museum. If y'all don't know what that is, uh, at least here in the States we have a 
across the country different Ripley's Believe It or Nots that have just like optical illusion type things. <gasps> Pretty! Nothing. Pretty! Oh! Oh no, this is gonna break. And we're gonna fall. I force the interaction is the question. I think not. I think I continue to <laughs> cheese the system with my favorite character. Those memories. Hmm? So dark. Jonathan freaks for a while. Are we done? What did I just mention? Maybe? Maybe it was. But I don't remember. Gosh, we are we are really really going in deep here. Where are we? Window Ah Ah Ah, I see. Maybe. I just know the place exists because I went to oh oh no. Well we finally ran into danger. Too bad that I have a shield. You game. Hey, I found the second one. Very, very good, very good. Pick up the thing, pick up the chest. Very good, very cool. I cannot fall for your traps, game. And we're back in this room. What's that there? We could have totally cheesed it. <laughs> It was. It was very unavoidable with the shield. <laughs> I Zhang Li does provide the best shield in the game, so like I might as well use it. <laughs> Dang, we're we're really walking walking into something, huh? Oh, this one doesn't have. Oh, it has green at the moment. We have a switch here with multiple things. It's currently on the courtyard. We'll keep it there for now. Can't change the color. Okay, we'll be back to that. Ah, here is one of these. The flesh ah. resides in society while the heart yearns for the natural world. Such has been the way of the Kaidaharas for many generations. Kazuha, the future of this clan will one day be in your hands. So, this must be either. Kazuha's grandfather, or if somehow his great-grandfather was alive. No, it must be the grandfather. Hmm. Because, um, I already forgot the dad's name, but it wasn't this. When that time comes, remember to always stay true to yourself. Dang. I heard an old man say something about the Kaedeharas. Sounds like it might be Kazuha's grandfather. Thank you, Mona. Thank you, Mona. Thank you, Daniel. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take that with us and hey, look a thing. Put it in. Get in there. What happened? Oh, place. We need we need three more. They're all gonna have a voice line. All right. Ooh, tree. Hey, here's another one. Listen carefully, Kazuha. A Kaidahara blade is not forged for the purpose of harming people. Understandable. It's probably to, to protect them. Or some such. Oh. Can I... Can I get up there? Chest! Hell yeah! 
Yay! Secrets are mine! It's right. Really <laughs> I probably missed a bunch of other secret chests, but I don't care to go back for them. But if I run into them, that's nice. Father, what are you carving? Kageharu, that, that, yeah, that's Kazuha's dad. <laughs> it's a rock garden. I'm modeling it after the scenery I saw on my travels abroad. It'll go with my bonsai later. Aww. He's Work just... has been so busy these years, I've barely had a moment to spend with my grandson. I hope he doesn't take after me. When he's older, he should get out there and see more of the world. Oh my heart. No. Kazuha. I believe the other voice belongs to Lord Kazuha's father. Oh, I see. We have ventured into Lord Kazuha's memory. No, really, Fischl? <laughs> oh my goodness. No, so... Ah. Uh, my heart. We don't end this stream until we finish this for Kazuha. For our boy. Actually, let's just let's stay as Kazuha and do this. Should have done that for a while now. Where am I? Chest. Haha. -ha. Okay. Ooh. The door. It opens. There's Kazuha. Okay, no longer can be caught up. Oh, there you are! Huh? Where did you all go? What do you mean? <laughs> this place is a maze! We Sweet. all got trapped inside except for you! <laughs> Family making a Ripley house. If he can survive there, he can survive in the outside. Ego kept in in check with new rooms. Yeah, that makes sense. I've been stuck in this room the whole time and can't seem to find a way out. I have to say, this place looks a lot like my childhood bedroom. Oh. <laughs> no, Kazuha. If this is your home, why would you be trapped here? Is the maze trying to keep you out? You tell Kazuha about everything that just happened. <sighs> I'm actually tearing up. Poor Kazuha. It appears that this whole maze is modeled after my family home. And all the conversations you heard in there Emotional are in fact words damage. once spoken by my father and grandfather. Yep. You said that the maze is trying to keep me out. Indeed. I'm the only one unable to explore this place. I think these unusual structures are some kind of mirage. According to what Kazuha said, all this seems to be constructed based on Kazuha's memory. I am still realizing that this... Wait, is this... This is the new outfit for her. It's still very scantily. Hmm. But why should Lord Kazuha be the only one excluded? Maybe that comes from me, too. To me, what is past is gone. Everything in the world is guided by its own rules, and as for people, we can never relive the past. I think that this belief is the reason why the Mirage was keeping me out. Oh, I can get behind that. It's a very sensible way of looking at things. All our thoughts have consequences. I don't consider it strange, and I don't think it's anything you should be worried about. Hmm. We got in here by touching the bonsai, didn't we? So perhaps, if we touch it again... We escape. We get out of here. I just realized the little loading screen in the corner were all the elements of the characters that we're following. Ah. Uh... Oh, he escaped, and the bonsai has the rock garden that his grandfather made. Hey, look! And all this 
That effect. whole mountain's changed completely. <gasps> oh, it's so pretty. It has a bunch of pretty trees from Liyue. Wait. <sighs> Wait, his grandfather traveled here? <gasps> Wait, that does that mean that his grandfather knew Alice? <sighs> Everyone, I might have an explanation. The changes in the mirage could be related to the bonsai. My father once mentioned that this pot was originally part of a collection belonging to my great-grandfather. Uh, uh -huh. He adored his bonsai and always took great care of them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When our family fell upon hard times, my grandfather traveled far and wide looking for a way to save the clan. However, during that time, my great-grandfather became gravely ill. Oh, no. He knew my grandfather had no interest in bonsai. So before his death, he gave most of his carefully crafted bonsai away. This is the only one he retained. To hide the letter with that secret in it, right? Right. Yes. yes. And to give his son something to remember him by. My grandfather returned quickly as he could. But my great-grandfather had already passed away. They never got the chance to say goodbye to each other before the end. After that, my grandfather would spend long periods of time standing in front of this bonsai, lost in thought. Eventually, he started to make his own bonsai. Unlike his father, he preferred arranging rock gardens instead of plants. Perhaps influenced by my grandfather, my father also took a liking to crafting bonsai. Back then, our courtyard was filled with all kinds of them. And this flower pot was passed down to me as a family treasure. It's certainly no coincidence that it appeared here and became the entrance to the mirage. It's almost as if... It's giving me a chance to make up for past regrets. Regrets about what, Kazuha? There was once a time when the Kaidaharas were an illustrious clan in Inazuma. After the Raiden Gokaden incident, our clan's fortunes took a turn for the worse. By the time of my generation, our downfall was complete. Later, I fled Inazuma as I didn't want to be arrested. With no one left in the Kaidahara clan, the authorities confiscated everything in our home, including this bonsai. Like my ancestors before me, I think I'd like to try it out for myself. Recreate a favorite scene from my travels and place it into this pot. I'm real I'm trying so hard not to cry right now. <laughs> oh. Since the contents of this bonsai affect the mirage, I'd at least like to try my hand at making something. But what style? Should I use plants for the bonsai, like my great-grandfather? Or rocks, like my father and grandfather? <laughs> Perhaps a rock garden would suit me better. So do you need any supplies to make this bonsai? It's, it is very sad, Damon. That's why, that's what I'm saying, is like, for... For all of the, uh, for the negativity of, like, the gotcha system and, um, the, the really only in-game content at the, t at the moment being so focused on, like, building your characters and following a meta. The story is beautiful. All these characters are so lovable and it punches you with tragedy. <laughs> I mean, no, I like to experience the story myself first, but like, oh my goodness, our poor sad animal boys, all of them know. Uh. I think I'll need a set of tools and some rocks that can be carved and made into decorations. Oh, he's gonna carve rocks into a garden like his grandfather. Got it, we'll help you look. We might just get lucky. If the pot's here, then surely other stuff related to crafting bonsai can't be We don't away. end the stream until we help Kazuha make his bonsai. 
I can I don't curb. care. That is Lord Kuzula, take heart in your search. For my retinue and I shall help you retrieve your missing treasures. Thank you, everyone. Where, where's the thing? Where's the thing? Oh, we have to go up there? Yes, this is basically an endurance stream for Kazuha. Oh, there's, uh, these things here are, there should be some floating blue things nearby to summon. And all these wind effects that are, that you're seeing are part of Kazuha's, um, effects, like his, his special abilities. Yep, animal animal boys have to have trauma. That's it. It's just the rule. Oh, let's do something. Well, y'all ready for adventure? Cause I sure am. Let's go. We don't end the stream until we finish helping Kazuha. Now there's our ruined guardian. No. And hilly shorels. Uh, can I just can I just get up there? Um, where's the fastest way up there? Where to find the fastest way up there? Let's, let's sail around the island and see if there's a better point of entry. Because I can probably just climb. Okay. This seems to be... Uh, th right here. Yeah. Oh, no! No, 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 not those! Oh, no. Not those. Uh... Those are a particular kind of enemy that I hate with all my heart. No! Wait! Why? What? Why? Why is this island covered in danger? Um. Hello? Please? No? I'd rather... Okay. Um. If I, if I park right here... It's Meatball in my life, so... Oh, it's been four hours. <laughs> yeah, I I can only deal with the eye of the storms because of Barbara. Um, okay, so I'm gonna get out of the boat right here, and hopefully not not get detected by those things. And we're just gonna start climbing. <laughs> my sequencing here. Oh, oh good. Foothold. <sighs> so with a combination of Kazuha's ease being able to lift me up farther and uh, Shao has an inherent ability to reduce the stamina, stamina consumption of climbing and with two animal people on my team, I'm able to decrease stamina consumption even farther. This mountain climb should be easy. Yeah. Yep. Not gonna fight today. Is that a cave? Let's, let's check that out. And if anything, I will catch the VOD for Ren's debut if I end up missing it, but um, thank you for the heads up, Asmo. I do want to watch it. Let's see, we're gonna go this way. Just gonna climb, just keep climbing, just keep climbing, keep climbing. Uh, this way will be good. This one, this way seems nice and flat. Ba, 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 ba. Oh no, wrong thing. Gotcha, can I? Uh, 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 and if anything, I have plenty of rice pudding. Actually, you know what? Let's um, let's eat one of those now. Rice pudding. Why does rice pudding increase your stamina? I don't know. Ask the game devs. 
Just keep climbing, just keep climbing, climbing, climbing. What do we do? We climb, we climb, climb. Ba, 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 da, da. I don't know. I'm not far up enough. To... We climb. Um, I should be able to take a break right here. Yeah. There we go. Okay, we can take a break here. Finding Kazuha! <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, Filled up the stamina, no, let's continue. Oh, this music is so nice. It reminds me of uh, this one Hawaiian artist and his cover of. His cover of Wizard of Oz is very good. Oh no. Well, well, if I'm gonna fight, I might as well fight when I'm already at the top. Let's go. I will have order. Gather. Evil conquering. Tear. Worthless. Tear. Worthless. <laughs> okay, we open this. Why would anyone want? Uh, forget it. It's not my concern. Nice. Um. I guess while while we're here. Oh yes, absolutely. While we're here, let's grab this teleport point. And, guys, guys, it's a conch shell. It's a magical conch shell. What could be inside? Oh, boy. Ah! Eh? Ah, it's Fatui. Eh? Eh? Can we do that again? Again with that honor is overall nonsense honor. No, why? Huh. Well, all right then. Boring. What is this? So many things puzzling puzzles. What is this? What am I standing on? What could I what could I have done? What is that? What is this? I'm getting distracted. We're supposed to help Kazuha. I'm just gonna fly back. Screw the boat. It was a it was an attempt at a SpongeBob reference, but I hadn't watched that episode in so long that I did not remember the exact phrasing. I You guys ready for a neat trick? Whee! No fall damage. So, um, in this game of Genshin Impact, there does exist fall damage. If you fall from a very great height, you will take a lot of damage and die. But Xiao has a very special ability that he can fall from any height if he's doing a plunging attack and not die. Isn't that great? I love Xiao. He's the best travel partner. Alright, we're gonna place place the things and hopefully complete the story. Wow, it's a new place! No! <laughs> As was the case last time, only Lord Kazuha is missing. Oh, there's more Don't worry. to this, huh? Leave it to us. Alright, alright, let's let's go find the Kazuha. Let's make sure our bo our boy is doing okay. We cannot end this stream without Kazuha being okay. This door needs to open. Ah. Stupid mouse cord. Okay. <laughs> okay, nothing in here. Uh there's a chest here. Oh no, there's a there's a mechanical device to change the room there. This is Ah. Aha. 
This is an area that exists. This was the starting area, I assume. Okay. Alright, just exploring all of the places before I continue. We don't step in there, that's disrespectful. Alright, so we'll have to unlock this mechanism in some way. Uh, here's this thing for the- there, that thing. <gasps> Wind! Yes. Where am I going next? Very high up. Uh, ah, stupid mouse. What are you doing? Stop getting cut there. Uh, might be something interesting up here. Mm, no secret chest. No secret chest. Bully. Bully for me. Alright, what is in... Door of Resurrection? That's a thing. Start. Oh, these are more things to open this door. Okay. Um, sure. I guess start is probably... Uh, it... Excuse me! Oh, hi. Okay. Um. Anything else? Oh, um. Another one somewhere. Hmm. Hope I didn't break it somehow. Alright, is there somehow another one that spawned? No. Hmm. Oh, also, what is this dastardly exclamation? see. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, let's... Uh, yep, that's about where that needs to be pointed. This is pointed straight on. Alright. This needs to be pointed... That way. Uh-huh. And, uh... Yeah, that should be good. Oh, and here's another one. Gimme. Fire the cannon! Bling! 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 Aha! Up we go! Wahoo! Um, I don't think I can reach that. Let's... We got our... We got our thingy above. Alright. What do We open the door. Uh, is this one I needed? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Here we go. The door is open. Ooh, more pretty scenery. Uh huh. Uh huh. Floating boxes, naturally. Of course, of course. Um, we have another switch. Probably gonna do more rotation shenanigans. We have a cannon. It'll fire this. This one. Um, there's a lot of up. Can I? Can I climb this? No. Nope. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah! Hello! So I need yellow. I see. This is probably gonna get messed up again if I leave it be, but try Okay. That's set up. I just need to find how to change the color. So I imagine the 
this is how I will do so. Oh. Ooh, I love, I, I love this particular part of the game. This is very interesting. So let's take this wind <laughs> tunnel. Um, let's see, we want to go down. Oh no, this is going to be our way back up. We, we should go. Okay. And that exists there for reasons. We need something in here. Oh, there's a leaf. Give me. just to allow us to pick up multiple times in the future. Okay, okay. Let's... I don't see anything else here. Let's go back up here. This way. Up and over. Switch back. I hope I'm not boring you guys too much. I quite enjoy a good puzzle, so this is very, very fun for me to just run around and do so and think things through. Mm. There's the Omori. Omamori? Omamori. <laughs> and I saw where it needs to go. Let me go this way again. <laughs> but yeah, no, this is definitely like the perfect time if there's like anything y'all want to converse with me about. Anime. Games, any sort of such. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps. Um, I am gonna end up uh, raiding someone eventually. And then also go on to the Yuba tubes to... to watch the 2.0 of one of my new favorite streamers. Mm, yes. Following the path. Ah, is this the... Oh, there we go. Here we go. We this will do? Ah, Kazua. You've come just at the right moment. What do you think of this rock carving? It's very intricate. So he was older when his dad died. Okay. Thank you, Asma. I based it on a mountain scene I saw in a book. You know, there are nations in this world where the mountains reach all the way up into the clouds. <sighs> if only I had the chance to see them with my own eyes. Oh, poor Kazuha's dad. Not able to explore. Father, you can go anywhere whenever you want. That's not true. Though the Kaedehara clan is far from what it used to be, I still bear all the same responsibilities as the clan heads before me. But then again, continuing in the way of our forefathers, sacrificing everything for our declining clan, is it really worth it? That's, that's a good point. But I, I don't understand. Kazuha, there's one thing I want you to always remember. Family ties are important, but you ought to not let them hold you back. Oh. Family only exists because of the people in it. If we are unhappy, how can we hope to build a joyful one? The events of the mm. past have had a profound impact on our family, but they are not your burden to carry. If you ever grow tired of this tedious life, just drop everything and go off on a journey. See the world. Remember, Kazuha, don't let yourself get tied down in life. Yes, father. Man! Why are we in the garden? This is rude. Um, but, oh my goodness! The... the... Uh, Kazuha! Ah! I stand up. Oh, wait, hold on. Enough. Get a, get a 
screenshot of this because it's never going to happen again. I already got the screenshot, so you can do whatever I want. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Continuing on. Oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. we came from. We came from this way? I think. I forget. I think. I think we did. Hold on. <laughs> No, no, we didn't. Oh, okay. We have entered the dojo. We must defeat the enemies. Let's go. Let's go. I forgot Come at me. about you, Mr. Kayadehara. It's my honor to meet you today. It is ah. Kazuha's honor to duel with a military <laughs> man like yourself. What? what Kazuha, Kazuha, get ready. Ah, you had to do this? Ah. Okay. Um. So. Um. I don't have to fight. do this, but um, I'm gonna use Kazuha to fight. <laughs> Just for the, just for the, 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 um, the, what's the word? Cannon, uh, cannon of it? Allow me. Gather and strike first. Into the wind. The wind knows. Yeah, no, um. We ignore the fact that I'm using Geodaddy Shield for this fight. Otherwise, um. My Kazuha would die. He, he is not built for this. Solidify. Just just pretend that the the da the Geo Daddy shield is the plot armor that Kazuha has. Right? Watch your right. step. That's that's how I that's how I'm going to roll with it. He keeps teleporting too, though. Like, yeah, yeah. We'll just call it the protagonist powers. Into the room. Don't hold back. Oh, here we go. We got a lot of attack. It's fine. It's fine. Just come in. Here. Are you? Did I bug it? Did I push you? So oh, okay. I will say, Kazuha's house is actually pretty big. If it has multiple things. I, I, I mean, this is obviously like an illusion of five May. And there's a lot added to it. But if I had a JoJo and the other that stuff, hurt. it's great. That, that hurt, that hurt. One would be a me. Train harder. Okay, okay, we're good. We did it with just Kazuha and uh, plot armor. Cool. Uh, operate the device and enter the new space. Oh, you know what? We probably need to go back and uh, go into a bunch of other different areas as well, because I didn't do that yet. Oh, right! This is the original room. Okay, yeah. This is the original room that we were in. And... Yeah, this is the thing that we needed to activate. That was locked before. Yeah. Yeah. We're doing it. Oh, God. Secret chest. <laughs> oh. Almost went down. Went down the hole. No, thank you. Now, 
We fixed a jow for that, so I don't die. Oh no. Oh, I thought that floor was gonna break. Um shoo -boo 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 -boo. Up, up, up on the horse show. Not the door of resurrection. Okay, we have two more little temple things to find all memories. Okay. Yeah. Ah, there's an up and more things that we must get to. Anything on this side that assists? Um, and I unfortunately cannot climb these. That's not a thing. How do I get up there? Hmm. Oh, hello. I passed right by it. took a, a little bit of damage there, that's fine. Okay. Alright, so to get this one... Oh, it's, it's yellow. Okay, so... There's something else up there. You're, oh, you're green. Okay. And, ooh, you're orange? I don't think I have orange. Unlock. Um, let's, let's, um, let's point that that way first. See what happens when I do. Oh, that's. Oh, that one's orange. Hold on. Wait, wait. Let's start this way first. And turn this this way. And. Fire! Fire the cannon! And that should get us this one. Boy, howdy! Let's go! And then. Do you have... Okay. Oh, can I change the color of the other one? No. Okay, well, this one obviously has to go that way. Turn this back. And can... And yeah, oh, it's a straight line. Okay, we're fine. Whoop! What's up? Uh, if you watch enough show with favorite plot armor or mechanics if it's a gamey anime. Oh, favorite show with plot armor mechanics. Um, oh. Um, I wouldn't say this is a, this is not a favorite, but this is just my favorite example of a character with plot armor or broken mechanics. There is a webtoon that's called The Gamer. I haven't caught up with it in a while, and I probably should before it eventually ends and becomes blocked off forever. Um, but in it, the main character, he is the gamer. He basically has the most powerful nonsense ability to... He is essentially a video game protagonist, where whenever he just repeatedly does stuff, he levels up in skills for that stuff, and he ends up putting a bunch of points in his intelligence to ju just um, become smart enough to cheese everything. And this is in a world where you're, there's so many other characters that are like, oh, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a big fighter, and oh, I use this dark magic, and all this other stuff, where he is just like more powerful than all of them, because he has this broken ability. Oh, there's another chest! 
Brilliant. Wouldn't want to miss that. So, um, that's, that's my choice for, like, a good, uh, representation of just a character with bullshit abilities. Was that not the right thing to do? Am I missing something? Turn it back. Uh... Got it. Good. Look, don't glitch on me now, Kazuha. Door of Resurrection? That always worries me when I see it. Okay, we have one thing, one thing. Uh, we have this thing. Ah! Ah! ah. Get this leaf to the cannon so that we can just use that cannon. And if this is the wrong thing to do, then what? Wait. Yeah, there it is. Here we go. Okay. Still have nothing to do with that yet, but we'll get there. Spin. Yes. <laughs> They do tend to give whatever the protagonist of this of those um, manhwas webtoons uh, pretty much the more overpowered abilities. Um, I really should, as much as it's very thematic to use Kazuha, Shao is a little more useful here so that we don't take damage. Oh, there's the, there's a ladder. Jeez. Wow. Okay. Um. Okay. This is green. Oh, that, there's the orange one. Uh-huh. Nothing back here. No tricks up our sleeves. Interesting. Interesting, fascinating, interesting. Okay. Uh. Oh. Hold on. Can we... Is that an option? Keep that like that. Can I... Elevation! Yes! Let's go! Point down! Haha! -ha. Okay then! So... Let's see... It shoots up! It goes... going towards the orange one right now, so let's just test that. Mm -hmm. I can watch. Uh, oh, no, I can't. Uh, Aha! Good! It did unlock it. Alright. So. Can I just climb up there? Um, I need to point it, let's see, comes up, and it went that way, so I need to turn this one and that one when I switch over. Okay. Yep. Oh, rental morphs? That's a good one. Yeah, that that's probably the, the name he should go with. Wow. All right. 
Um, dog or das. There it is. Okay, so we rotate that this way. Is that? It is. That should be all I needed to do. I might have messed it up. <laughs> Just let it go. And let it go. This friend brings it so something something that I don't remember because I don't hadn't actually watched that movie. Alright, and then it goes that way. Bloop. A so yummy. Cool. Okay. Now we go. <laughs> Maurice, gimme. <laughs> gimme. I will say this is probably the most enjoyable puzzle I ever played in Genshin in so long. Like, the open world puzzles that some of the Inazuma Islands had were fine, but this this is just grade A fantastic. I forgot where I'm supposed to be. Resurrection. It's always scary when I see that. Mm. Oh, this, this place I see, it becomes more and more like destroyed as the years are going on as a reflection of uh, Kazuha's clan falling into ruin. I see. I'm sorry, but I just don't understand. Kazuha, have you forgotten our promise? You really want to give it all up? But even if we're having a rough time, you still have me by your side. Can't I be of any help? When you were my age, you were already helping Grandfather out. Am I so incompetent that I'm a disappointment uh, to you? Or... No, Kazuha. <laughs> Kazuha. <sighs> now you're blaming yourself for all of this? That's why I failed you as a father. <laughs> yes. The Kaidehara clan has been paying the price for our past mistakes ever since your great-grandfather's generation. To this, though, we are a family of bladesmiths. You don't have to devote your life to the family craft. If a wounded animal wants to escape from a trap, it has to sacrifice the hind leg that was caught. You might think of this as a loss, but staying in the trap has far more deadly consequences. Oh, no. Enough now, Kazuha. As the head of the family, I failed to revitalize our clan. You never blamed me for not giving you the life promised to you by our heritage. And I'm grateful enough for that. All these generations of suffering. Let's end them today. From now on, live your life with no burdens. Don't worry. I'll carry the blame for abandoning our family business. Father. But no. Please don't. You should not be to blame for not upholding our family name. Even if that day comes, let me share the burden with you. Let's just wait and see. Sooner or later, I will have to lead the Kaidahara clan. When the time comes, I'll deal with all our problems. But, but Kazuha... Oh no! But Kazuha's dad... But... 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 Yeah. But, uh, 
so dramatic. Wait, am I going the right way? I am not. I am not going the right way. I probably go up there next. Um, my god, why is it all so sad? Okay, as much as I was- hey, Think you're tough enough to go against me? Ah, no response! What's wrong? Are you scared? Did you really think it would be wise to pick a fight with the Kaidahara clan? I'm, I'm not gonna waste time this time. I just, I just want, I just want to fight. See no more. Lament. Swore. Get the fairy. Keep. Worthless. Get out of here. This is the Kaidahara clan featuring this, this emo Sasuke <laughs> demon. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> follow the voice. Got it, The Kaidahara clan is no longer what it used to be. That's Kazuha's voice! <gasps> Kazuha, where are you? Where are you, bud? Bud? A ghost Kazuha. But why can't he hear us? Uh, he's a ghost. Did he die? No. Looks like it's just an illusion. Oh, okay. This isn't the Kazuha who came here with us. Okay. Okay, good. Um. Enter the last room. What the fuck? It's sepia tone, and I'm forced to be Lumine. Oh, oh, and it's, um, I can't change the camera. Oh, this is interesting. I can't even jump. I can't even do attacks. Oh, man. Oh, this is fascinating. Very unique. I, I hope they do something like this again. It's going to be like a really, like, they have these dramas in Japan. Um that are black and white, that are like samurai dramas. Oh, man. Can I? Wait, 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 what's the... I can't, I can't switch to walking, unfortunately, I would. Maybe if I were more adept in the sword arts, I'd be able to share my father's burdens. <sighs> no, Kazuha, that's not it, bud. That's not what's going on. Oh man. Oh, this is so cool. It's so trippy. This won't do. I'm getting distracted by family matters and making too many mistakes. No. Kazuha. Oh man. Why isn't this the story quest? Why why is this blocked by an event? to hear the song of Nightingale. My patient ears ready to attend. A veil of mist obscures the western skies. Into its midst, a silver moon descends. Ooh, I can tell that that poem is about him wanting to travel because basically everything is west of Inazuma. Oh man, is there anything over here? Nope, no secrets. Just clipping the camera. Oh, man. Yeah, it it's so cool looking. Man. They went, they went all out on this. What the heck? Like, and they're gonna do- are they- they're gonna do this with Fischl for sure. Are they gonna do this with Shinyan as well? And Mona? Oh man. To no one is fighting a losing battle, and yet never once falter. This shall be my father's legacy. Oh. Oh Don't man. Don't we might find you trapped here again? 
are we not going to talk about what just happened? <laughs> yeah, it seems those are the rules. Oh, no. We entered that maze in the mirage again, but the scene was different this time. The mood was more deflated, and the place more humbly furnished. Yes, that makes sense. What you saw was the Kaidahara clan in decline. We saw you in the Mirage too, but you looked a little different than now. Probably younger, right? And more, like, not as chill? Yeah, I noticed. Um, I'm gonna, I'm looking up how to, how to raid, if I even can raid. So that pretty much soon, I'm gonna end stream soon, I think. To move on as much as our, our poor boy Kazuha here um, I may not be able to finish his quest today so Sag so Sag indeed I most certainly agree compared to the Lord Kazuha before us now um, I don't know the yet Mirage we saw appeared lost with the burden of fate weighing heavily upon him I'm probably going to look up and see if any of the Invicta Bros are streaming right now. Like, Kane, I kind of anticipate to be doing so soon. Um, if not, I'm going to pick an, either an indie VTuber or someone I already follow um, to raid. Which, a lot of them are indie VTubers at this point. Oh, hi. I found the raiding article. Ah. Okay, I see. I'll I'll get to that in a bit. Hmm. I can confirm that. His fate was a heavy burden indeed. That means I am older and wiser now. I'm sorry you had to see my less mature former self. Is it For a long time after not? leaving Inazuma, I've lived the life of a drifter, but this is no bad thing because I learned much from the experience. I wish that I could have met my past self too. If he saw me, I know that he would understand. Life is a long journey, and that's why I must travel far and wide. Our good boy Kazuha. Just as I thought, the bonsai is the key to entering the mirage. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's continue looking for the rock garden. All right, so I think that is where I'm gonna end it. As as much as I love our boy Kazuha, I've been going for five hours. Oh man, this just. Hang on, I'm gonna do something else real quick too. We can't, we can't not have our homeboy Kazuha be representing with this freaking baller of a story. Hot damn. Um, <laughs> but truly, like, oh my god, they are... They have written Kazuha so well here. Uh, let's... I'm gonna exit out of the game, and let's just switch to... Oh, wrong thing. Here we go. Let's just switch here real quick. Real quick. I don't... I don't need that. Um, while I figure out who to raid. And exit out of Genshin. Save my computer some thinking. That was really fun. That was really fun. That was really sad. That was really funny. Oh my goodness. Like, when Mahoyo decides to design really good content, they design really good content. Like, I can never... I can never not like 
when I can I can see it. I can see all the effort that they're doing. And I haven't even explored the map. Like, I still have to explore the islands for all the hidden treasures. And, and I'm finished poor Kazuha's story. And probably by the time I'm done with Kazuha's story, there will be more. I'll have to deal with Fischl. And maybe the others, too. Oh, man. Stream was basically Kazuha and Meatball Journey, it was. It was. We, um, as much as, as much as Fischl is a great Chuni byo and Mona, Mona is there as the sane adult, um, and Shenyan is there as the responsible good person, this, this stream was basically a Kazuha love letter. I, I love that boy. Meatball for best character introduction in the stream? Absolutely. Um, and Kazuha had the best moment with just getting, getting absolutely wasted. Mm. Very good. Very fun times. Um, let's see. I'm gonna figure out how to raid while we're talking. Mm-hmm. I, uh, there seen, there's there, aha, there's a button on the stream manager. Raid channel. Um, no, I don't need to raid Tectone. But it is showing ra uh, channels I follow, which is nice. So, hmm. Oh, we could follow follow our boy Yami here, actually. Um, I want to say he's a fellow Jovru model, but I don't remember that exactly. Uh, you ever watch Chunibyo Love and Other Delusions? I haven't, actually. That's been a good one or, uh, that I've heard of. Um, da da da. Hmm. You know, I think I am going to go with Yami. Um, he's someone... I haven't interacted with him a lot yet, but he is a part of... Um, he's within, like, the Invicta... Chan he's not an Invicta brother, but he's within the channel itself, and also, um, I think he is also part of Laz's posse, so we're in kind of the same circles. Oh, or I could go with Ruinous. We've had some interactions on, uh, on Twitter. <laughs> please don't, please don't, please don't look at those. I, I swear I'm say-so when I'm streaming, but off stream, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not say-so at all. Um... Okay, um, hmm. Ah, with the games they're playing, though, so y Yami is playing Pokemon Emerald, and Ruinous is playing Stray. So, um, what, what game would you guys like to see? Either Pokemon Emerald or Stray, which is the new, uh, RPG where you're a cat and you're running around in a, in a, post-apocalypse, or not, well, not post-apocalypse, it's more of a dystopian world. But I'm also gonna, I'm pulling up YouTube for myself to watch something else in a little bit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Don't worry about that, though. Um... You know, I guess because I ran into Ruinous, or talked with Ruinous today, it's a little more, more appropriate. Hmm. Alright, we'll do that. Best broken game mechanic, anime ma manga, Bofuri. Main is a tank, gains a skill by biting a raid boss to death with her Moe Fang. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I know that anime. Yes, yes, yes. Um. Uh, or right. Or maybe I'm thinking about a different anime. I know of the of the one where is that the one where she points puts all her points into defense and she um is able to just eat he she eats things so she ate something that was really immune that yeah 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 I think I know what you're talking about. Okay, before I ramble on any further and before this other stream starts, and so I can also go to the bathroom. Uh, we're gonna raid Ru Ruinous, and let's make the, let's make the raid message, um, let me see. I don't have emotes yet. I, I think you have to be affiliate to get those. 
Um, <laughs> that's kind of be kind of funny. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go with uh, that as the raid message. I think it is very <laughs> uh, appropriate for pretty much what we did today. <laughs> Howdy, Dragon and Kazuha. Sail, sail the meatball raid. <laughs> uh, yes, okay. All right. So, I think it will give, like, a timer after I hit this. Um, or something. Leroy Jenkins, yes. <laughs> All right. Um, start raid. Will it just automatically do it? Or, okay, no, it gives a 10 second timer. Um, thank you again, guys, for coming by. Uh, Asmo, Red Damon. Oh, I forgot to thank all the new followers. I did thank them, uh, it before when they each followed. Um, oh, I know. It says that we're now ready to raid, and I can just go whenever. Um, actually, yeah, let me do, let me do those final thanks first. Um, Flyball Ninja, thank you for following. Uh, Kate, thank you, my, my, thank you, my dear friend, for following. Um, and for N N Neko Maji Masume, also known as uh, Naburu, N Naburi, um, if I'm mispronouncing that, I'm sorry. Thank you for the for the follow. Uh, Orion, thank you for the follow. Uh, Hikaru, oh that was from that was from way long ago. Okay, that was it. Um, thank you again. I will see you on the flip side on another day. Bye. Nabiru is a Yu-Gi-Oh card. I got it. All right, Nabiru, it is. Bye. The water, but I'm Hattie, Hattie Drago. Welcome in. Welcome into my slumberland, Bruin. Nice to meet you all. <laughs> <laughs>